everybody, I'm back! Yeah! Come on! All right! <laughs> so I found my 3DS. You hair. said her pants were shit, and you said hey. her hair is brown. No, I did what not. What the fuck? I did not. It's kind of a helicopter. That's a bird with wings. It's a Pegasus, Peter. A bird with wings oh. is a Pegasus? Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> your weenus? Yeah. You got your penis? Yeah. You got your penis? Your penis? Yeah. Sonic the fuck hog. Gotta fuck fast! <laughs> There's a slightly yeah. bigger gap, the fuckers. Yeah. No, sorry. That's oh. what I was doing. Oh, be careful! Oh, oh. No, I can't see without my glasses! Put these on. <laughs> Did everyone see the stock image that I posted in Back Pocket Spoilers? Mm -hmm. And can I just say that I, I searched ankle bone. <gasps> you live in the Loki Studios. Oh, what happened there? You're it, like it, out of the light. I'm out of the light. What's happened? For fuck's sake, uh -oh. people. Oh, shit. Stuff right. but look, is this, this is supposed to be a professional oh, show. I can't believe. Oh, there it is. There it is. This is what I get invited to. I know. This two-bit operation. Can't even turn the lights on. I can't even. Unbelievable. Fucking lights, Peter. God I'm really damn embarrassed it. and ashamed. Let's, Let's go again. Yeah. Let's start again. Let's start the whole show. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The whole thing. What's up, everybody? I'm back. Yeah. Come on. All right. <laughs> so I found my 3DS. You hair. said her pants were shit, and you said hey. her hair is brown. No, I did what not. What the fuck? I did not. It's kind of a helicopter. That's a bird with wings. It's a Pegasus, Peter. A bird with wings oh. is a Pegasus? Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Is your oh, weenus? Yeah. yeah. You got your penis? Yeah. yeah. You got your penis? Yeah. 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 That was not a gospel. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't have turned up if I had no in here, to be honest with you. Oh, be careful. Oh, I can't see without my glasses. Put these on. <laughs> Did everyone see the stock image that I posted in Back Pocket Spoilers? Mm. And can I just say that I I searched ankle bone. <gasps> Lit back pocket. It's Thursday, the 21st of July. Coming at you live at the Loki Studio, starring Stephanie Ben Dixon. This is me with an ankle bone. Peter Burns. <laughs> I don't know how to follow that one. No, neither do I. <laughs> Does he have a bone? It's Skill Up, oh, aka Ralph. Shit, I heard this podcast gets sexual. I wasn't expecting it would be that quick. I was expecting just buy a girl, drink first kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I guess we're all in. And it's me, your boy, Nick, 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 my Richardson, Richardson. And tonight on the show, Ooh, dusk falls and evil lurks. We must make flight. And to make our escape, we'll pose as stray hot Palwas employees. Ooh! Psst. Oh, nice. Guys, I have a feeling it's going to be our best show yet. Oh, my gosh. How really? Exciting is that? Yeah, it's just I, a on you. bizarre feeling for you to have in uh, this moment. I've got it in my waters. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm mainly excited because joining us is the Halo Mars. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I saw that thing actually. I was, just, so I was cool. in mid conversation. I was like, blah, 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 blah. And he came and sat down with it. I was like, blah, blah. What oh, the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah. That is the greatest mug oh, I've ever seen in my life. It's incredible. Oh, it yeah. stopped you literally dead in your tracks. Uh, no, very excited to have uh, Ralph here. You may know him as Skillup. We know him as Ralph. Uh, my friend, thank you so much. Uh, Pleasure. Uh, I'm so excited because we just connected randomly on something boring. We were like talking about boring businessy things. Yep. And then you were like, by the way, how about hanging out and thing? And I'm like, Rocking dude, up. it's That's been right. three years since I've stepped foot in these hallowed halls. And yep. I'm like, hell yeah. Let's before there was that. even a back pocket. Do you know? Well before then. I have never met a Ralph. Well. Really? Okay, this is a thing. Let's be yeah. clear about this. There are no Name cool it. Ralphs. Oh, okay. Let's yeah, Ralph Wiggum is the only one I can think of. There's, but not, again, there are no cool Ralphs. Yeah, totally. Okay, right? Yeah. There's Ralph the Barking Dog. Yep. There's, um, okay, King Ralph. Has anyone get this reference? Yeah, yeah, King Ralph. John Candy? John John Goodman. John Goodman. Have you heard this movie? Yeah, no. Okay, imagine this. I'm imagining. The, the entire royal family of England, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. they're in a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. But, and they're all on this big stand thing. Is okay? this a movie from like the 80s or something? Yes. Got it. So, if they're all getting there ready to take their photo, and then for some reason, they all get electrocuted. Okay, I'm going to say lightning bolts or I'm going to say some bad dodgy wiring. Hitman. So the, hit, it's in, a hitman level. Exactly. So the, it, yes, the entire royal family is wiped out in an instant and they have to trace the line back further and further and further until it leads to John Goodman, yeah. who is a fat American slob living somewhere in America and he is now the king of England. It's the, that, it's watch the most fucking 80s. <laughs> it is. So <laughs> is. <laughs> Incredible <laughs> film. Fantastic. Great movie. John Great Goodman. Wreck it, wreck it, Ralph. John Ralphio. John Ralphio's. Ra oh. I'm trying to can't, Ralph, Ralph Macchio. Ralph Macchio? 
Yeah, what? Ralph Macchio. That's one cool Ralph. That's a good movie. Ralph. You he found it. Is he a good Ralph now? Or well, was no, he a good Ralph the karate, Is he in that Karate Kid show? Is he in the, the show? Is he in the Cobra Kid? Cobra Kid. Cobra Kid. Cobra Kid. Cobra Kid. That was great. Yeah, so you're saying there's no there's no impetus for people to name their child Ralph because it's, there are no good Ralph role models. You run from for the hills, like no one calls their kid Ralph. Like that is, I, and I would caution anyone. The suffering in my school years. Yep, mm. that sucks. It was a lot, man. Sorry. My real name actually, my Ital- full name is Raffaele. Fuck that's, yes. That's, my Italian oh, that's, that's sick. That's, cool. that's, 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 that's hot. That's the one. But that's that's right. Try saying that, try using that as your everyday name in what Australia. Is, what like going to Bunnings and ordering a snag and like, oh, who's that for? Raffaele is Raffaele. I'm just like. Raffaele? Raffaele? That is the other one that you get. Raffaele? It is Raffaele, yeah. That is awesome. That is my Italian name. That is so, so cool. And yeah, so it's it's. Uh, Mido Fanfare in the chat said a Ralph married me and my wife. So that Ralph sounds pretty cool because he's it's in a so three-way so polygamous marriage. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? That is good reading of it. I didn't go yeah. there straight away. That's but the fun reading. That's yeah. fantastic. Uh, I know Mido. It's true. It's yeah. true. <laughs> Mido fucks. We all know that. Uh, well, uh, pleasure to have you here. For people who don't know who you are, uh, <laughs> I don't know yes. who wouldn't. Considering the scale of your audience, <laughs> the scale of our audience, uh, but do you want to like introduce <laughs> yourself and what you do? Yes, absolutely. Um, my name is Ralph, and I'm a YouTuber. No, it's and not. It's Rafali. It's Rafali. <laughs> and I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> a whole show, shall we? No, we won't. Uh, but no, I'm a YouTuber, and I review video games basically. And I have a show that we just make fun of the news every week. And I actually just started a podcast with some really great people. Jake Baldino, he's a guy from Game Ranks, and he has his own channel, which is awesome. A guy called The Completionist. I don't know if you yep. know The Completionist. He's fantastic. And also Lucy James, yeah. who is with uh, Giant Bomb and GameSpot. She's awesome. So we just started that podcast, like three, we were, we just did episode three, and it's been amazing. Cause nice. Weekly? Uh, fortnightly. Fortnightly. Because I was lonely during the COVID period. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. And like, I was. We just started working. this during the COVID period because yeah. we were lonely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Were you guys doing in person? You couldn't have done in person. You were doing remote. We did in person we, when you first. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, were yeah, allowed? Yeah. Like, as in, like, the lockdowns weren't stopping yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We started was, this post space post is just lockdown? big enough. Yeah, oh. right. We, 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 yeah. COVID yeah. hit, first lockdown, lockdown lifted a bit enough. We started this, sure, and then lockdown came back, and we all went remote again. Right, and then yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Re- doing remote content like that is super hard, um, obviously. Yeah, it's just ha- being in person, like because obviously we the podcast we do is remote, like because they're in the states yeah. and I'm here. This just feels so much better. Like being able to sit with four people across. Oh, it's nice. Isn't it's it? so good. Yeah, it's there's something about luxury. smelling the person you're talking. I was to, about usually. to say and that. Ralph smells and good. I found your hair. Your hair is very intimidating, and I feel like it does. The heft of it's it doesn't quite it's come it's through tall. the camera. So being able to see it here, I just want to run my fingers through it. I can, I, can I do? It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! It's so thick. So, my God. It's thick. It's thick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's voluminous. Yeah. Everything it's... about Pete is dense. I'm a dense man. Dense. I think I've told this story before, but you know when you go through. Tip to dick, Peter Burns dense. dense. When you go through uh, uh, the screening process at an airport sure. and you you scan your back, there's often a system now that kind of does that kind of full body scan. You kind of stand there and you do that. Mm. Every time there's a hot spot in my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <there is>. Every <laughs> time. And so they're like, what have you got in your pants? And I'm like... Nothing. I assure you, nothing. And like, come with me. This isn't. Uh, this isn't a. Um. This isn't a Spinal Tap, like a, a foil wrapped zucchini moment. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. It's just like it's 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 dense and hot. <laughs> And that's my life. And then what happens? I <laughs> want to know what happens when they do the scan. They, what do they find? They let me go. They don't really? find anything. They're like, there's a pat down. There's a pat down. After the scan, there's a pat down, and the pat down is How like, close does the pat down get? The pat down is intimate. And when you say they don't find anything, is what I want to know. Yeah. When you well, they, they don't, don't finish. Are you like, <laughs> is it like a Ken? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go. I'll go through security twice if that's the yeah. case. You know I mean? I I'm not quite there. The line. I'm not there. I left something in the car. That's right. I'll be right back. Finish. People say <laughs> airports are bad. I think they're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so tough to get security stuff right now. It's the demands of the job. They're exactly. too yeah. high. Did we say you know the I mean? name of the YouTube channel is Skill Up? How, did we get yeah, it? Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I've said it. Oh, I think so. Okay, okay, but also, did you, I don't think you said the name of your podcast. No, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, podcast yeah. is called Friends Per Second. Yeah, there you go. Which yeah. I actually love. That's great name. Lucy great came name. up great with that name. Great very name. clever. I, I was that actually kind of... listening to the Giant Bogan cast on the way to the studio. Right. And she said that she was talking to you about Destiny. 
And, yes. and she she said, is now a good time to get into this? The answer to that question no. is always no. <laughs> the answer is always no. no. I'd happily talk for hours about why no one should play Destiny at yeah. all. And then go and, I, and then I go home Destiny. and play like seven hours of it. Today. Totally. So, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. awesome. Um, I did also see, uh, I think it was Melodic Storm in the chat said, guys, look at the art behind them. We did just get these. Oh. Uh, so the back pocket art panels, these are new. Oh, my God. Get these. Uh, and put them up this way. The, ch oh, the chat can't see the full thing. Can Not they? really. No. no, we'll take no. some yeah. detail photos. They're very tall. In the Discord. They are they're, huge. It's, it's like every pockety that has that Gus has drawn yeah. since the start of Back Pocket. So oh for every God. game, every thing that we have ever done that has required a every custom pockety. Every pockety. Every, yeah. But yeah. Gus did all these. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. It's yeah. his only talent. Uh, <laughs> but he didn't even put the collage together because he got a, he paid 15 bucks for an AI, AI program to make the collage. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So good. There's tiny little um, <clears throat> porn pocketies hidden in there somewhere. You just don't Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> Remember Magic Eyes? Yeah. Yeah. That sound, oh, you mean the books? Yeah. yeah. Of course, of course. I'm reading a book at the moment. And it's all magic eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading. Your reading book. level has yeah. degenerated. I'm looking at a book. <laughs> That's right. I'm Cross crossing my eyes and defocusing. Trying to relax them. Yeah. No, they would. How do you look? You do that. Thank you. And you just let the eyes relax, and then yeah. suddenly the ship appears. Uh, no, it's set in the mid 90s. They're talking about magic eyes. And I suddenly went, oh shit, I should actually <coughs> buy one of those for my kids. Yeah. I think like Banjo would get Because I loved that as a that kid. That was the whole thing. That yeah, was, yeah. It was, it was sick. There's like a hidden picture in there. Yeah. But it was also that thing of just like most, like 90% of people could get it, but there were the 10% who just couldn't. Yeah. And I always felt yeah. bad for those people. Because they were just like, I just don't get it. Well, they need to be culled. People were saying that you sort of move it close, but the thing is you just sort of defocus your eyes, right? You need to rela well, I, I saw, I know that someone I went to school with had a problem where they had glasses that like, and actually the character in the book has the same thing. It doesn't let their eyes relax. Because they, they, they can't focus, so they put the glasses on and so their eyes don't ever relax. So, yeah. Anyway, this is all very boring. The point was... No, I love it. Been, I love this. Way more exciting than, than... What were we talking about before? Destiny. Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Way more exciting People should get back into Magic Eyes, <laughs> but never right. get back into Destiny. We were talking about Peter's hot crutch. Oh, yeah. We were so talking that, about that. Yeah, I, thought, I felt like we got past that. Uh, good. Uh, well, Let's I go back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Give Come it, on now. Steph, you can wait two fucking hours. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right. Speaking of getting on with the show, let's get on with the show with a little segment we like to call... Oh! Say what you all been playing. Presented by Burry Burry. Burry Burry, IP lawyer. Ooh. Extraordinaire. I've heard of, of Burry Burry, actually. Because... Well, I heard they became a lawyer so that they'd be more efficient at covering up their murders. Well, that's... Oh. Look, that's what I heard. She's dodgy oh. as fuck. That's yeah. what I heard. True. And uh, she was thinking about showing this show to her uh, company f to maybe get them sponsored. Sure. And then she didn't. Right. And I think it's because she doesn't want the exposure to them that, like, we know the secrets. Because of there's course. something up about her. Because I just revealed that she's an axe murderer. So exactly. obviously she wouldn't want her law firm to know that. That would be awkward. And, but because she's an IP lawyer, she couldn't defend <coughs> herself in court for the murder. No. But if she dressed up as Mike Myers in So I Married an Axe Murderer. Yes. And then killed somebody. And then the studio that made that film sued her for yep. IP infringement That's as right. she killed someone. Yep. She could defend it. Double jeopardy. Double jeopardy. <laughs> no understanding. Ashley, Ashley Jarre. Yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> to you, double jeopardy is I've committed two crimes. <laughs> They, they cancel each other out. out. I'm free to go, Your Honor. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Case dismissed. <laughs> Boom. You were so confident with <laughs> double jeopardy. That's what it is. We were just saying murder movies with more stuff. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's apparently it's her birthday. Oh, yeah. Happy oh, birthday. Happy birthday, 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 birthday as well. Oh, oh, there you go. It's nice to spend a day outside of prison. It's beautiful. Well, every day for her is a gift until yeah. eventually <laughs> so the, the jig is up. So, so true. enjoy it while you can. That's it. Right. Uh, every day is a gift. <laughs> <laughs> until you're just waiting for TriStar Pictures to come and get you. Uh, it produces so I married uh, oh, okay. uh, <laughs> That was a quick Google. It was, it was. I was like, yeah. where's he going with I this? Yeah, yeah, like a long good. walk. With the exception of uh, Dr. Strange, love how I learned to stop uh, worrying, I love the bomb. The longest movie title I yeah. possibly could have picked True. to type out. What were you saying? Bri Bri is sick. 
Oh. oh, we're learning new things about Burberry Burry every minute. Yeah. Axe murderer, IP lawyer, birthday, sick. sick. What's next? Fucked up, fucked up lung. Fucked, fucked up lung. Fucked up lung. lung. Is that what even, is that just the one? Are we, are we yeah. make, okay, right. Did, are we, are we still like, jamming here or are we yeah. Yeah. serious? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's make fun of the fucked up lung. <laughs> On her birthday, how threatening is this? Is right. it like a weird small lung? Is it like when a twin <laughs> eats the twin in yeah, the room? Yeah. And so you, your lung ate the other? Anyway, we'll find out. Let us know, Burberry. Uh, okay, cool. This is the part of the show where we talk about the games that we've been playing. Lots of games uh, to talk about this week. Mm. Ralph, start mm. us off. Yes. Uh, what do you want to? What do you want to kick us off? What do we say we were going to talk about first? Stray. Well, stray. So, have you guys played Stray? Firstly, I have. Okay, yeah. cool. About half. I, yes. I can't. I can't wait. I'm very excited. Cool. Awesome. Okay. I'm in so the sewers. You're in. The, oh, lovely. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, top level, just in case you haven't played Stray or seen Stray or know nothing about it, you play as a cat and. It's the first game that I can think of mm -hmm. where you're just a cat. Because obviously there was like Blinks the Time Sweeper. Yep. And other cat games. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've um, played uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, correct. <laughs> cat Sith. Yep. yep. Uh, in, in FF7. Uh, yeah, yep. you can play Khajiit in Skyrim. Oh, the Elder you Scroll. Man, that's really yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. What was that game one. that came out last year and we've got the fucking. We got the toy? We got the toy. They sent us the toy. Was that a cat? No, that was a little mouse. It's that fucking. That, yeah. You know that bad guy. game? Bio that one, mutant. Bio mutant. Oh, bio mutant. You're a little that rodent. One. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, not rodent. a cat. They, yeah. The cats eat the rodents. Yeah. Well, it's very I feel like it's hard to make games where you play as an animal because people want to see themselves in games and and want to be at least a little bit humanoid so they can be like, I'm the hero in this. When you're playing a, a, a small animal, it's harder to kind of sell that dream to people. That is one of the most interesting. That's true. I agree with you. And I think that's one of the most interesting things about Stray because. Again, you are not humanoid. You're not like riding a hoverboard or spouting catchy phrases or whatever. Yeah. You are just a cat ass cat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and Once done, I made cat chefs. <laughs> but with a this one that's right. Yeah. yeah. With a cute little backpack. <laughs> with a cute little uh, robot droid Robo backpack. Oh, that's right. what that is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so it's nice because um it actually really the entire game is built around well, what does it mean to be a cat? So, for example, you cats don't just like jump up in the air and bounce for no reason, right? Cats jump up to things. Mm. So, in this game, you can't just jump wherever you like. Ooh. You can only jump up to something that you see, and the like, little A button pops up when it becomes a surface you can jump to, right? Yep. The way the cat moves feels just like, again, very kind of, I want to say realistic is probably not the right phrase, but like it kind of looks and feels realistic. And, um, you know, it just, it really captures that sort of, I want to say role play, not the right phrase, mm. but it really just lets you occupy. No, I think that you're right. I think you know, and I, I think the the movement of the animal feels so. Uh, and before we move into getting too uh, critical or anything of it, but it, it you do feel like a cat. You Correct. feel like you move like a cat, and and because you feel like that, you do start to role play it because you can't help but go. Well, I I'm limited in my movement where I wouldn't necessarily be in a, a different kind of 3D game. Mario turns on a dime, bounces around everywhere. Yep. This cat feels like it has a mm -hmm. turning circle and like, you know, it, it, it is anatomically moving. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you start to role play for sure. Well, that's it. even like things like movement. So for example, any game I play, I go the fastest possible way to any destination with the fastest movement. If I can sprint, I'm always sprinting in any mm -hmm. game, right? Sure. But this one, because I'm a cat, I'm just like, I'm just going to stroll. You know what I mean? And I'm just going to go over there and I'll make my, and I'll like take my time. And again, that's just because it feels nice to be a cat mm. doing that in mm. that way, but also taking in the world because the world is <clears throat> incredible. Like it is so beautiful. If you've seen anything about this game, you would have seen it's like a sci-fi world, beautifully lit. It's got these robot sort of like, you know, robot dudes walking around because the humans are all gone. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Incredible world. Like just one of the most beautiful worlds I've walked around in a long ass time. Is there yeah. a lot of like verticality to it? Because yeah. even though, uh, you know, as you're saying, you're sort of limited in the movement so that you're not just like pinging around the space sort of trying things. To me, being a cat that is quite lithe and nimble is, is kind of the appeal there. Can you kind of... Is there a lot of stuff to yeah. kind of like? Well, that's kind of the. I would say the core get that feeling. Yeah, the core gameplay loop is you need to get up there, okay? But and so it's like, well, what can I use to get up there? Oh, I can jump on that desk first, and then I can jump on to the top of that TV, and then there's a pipe, and I can walk along that, and that's it. So the, the entire game is ultimately built around verticality most of the time. But in addition to that, there's also about like you know, there's also you know small spaces because cats can squeeze through anything, yeah. Oh, yeah. and you're looking for little gaps. I was gonna say that that to me is the um because I'm. I'm much less warm on the game than you are, but 
I was very impressed. I believe like you've been trashing it, Mercy. I, I definitely have seen some trash talk. <laughs> uh, uh, apparently, I'm a little turns little. out Stray isn't all that. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> how, is that a, how is that a thing? We'll get to that. Yeah. But uh, before I hate on it, um, <laughs> it is gorgeous. Um, but I think that the, the, the thing that is very compelling is it's not often that we're in a world where you're smaller where you're not so small that it's like you're you're a you're a little you know um, honey I shrunk uh, kids kind honey of I shrunk grounded kids or yep. uh, it takes two style giants situation. This is like oh this is this is a world not really built for things my scale, but I can traverse easily yes. in. And the idea of like finding these little crevices between like stacks of books mm. or like a hole in a fan or something that you're getting through. There's something about the perspective of the camera that really nails that sense of scale, not being overwhelming, but just being like what you what you experience in your day to day life from this angle. That's true. And that and that is really compelling. And it fucking walks like a cat. It walks like a cat <laughs> it so goddamn hard. Yeah. It, it, you jump out upon a shelf and it knocks everything off the shelf. It does. <laughs> if you walk into people, if you run into people's feet, actually, you will trip them over. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Love yep. doing that. That's that's a highlight. Was, I think like whiskers or something did a marketing thing a while ago where they strapped <clears throat> GoPros to a bunch of cats just to kind of like really get, get a sense yeah. of their everyday life. Clever. And it is like even the cats that are indoor cats live remarkably exciting lives. <laughs> yeah. In the house. It's just like sure. so much going on, the perspective, and you hear the little chirps that they're making as they're seeing things, and up to the window, and the stuff happening outside, and then totally. it's just like it's nice to kind of live that world and see the world from that perspective. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And in fact, I was talking to someone today. Like, even if you look at this gameplay now, just the perspective that the, the cat being at the bottom of the screen and the way the camera kind of tilts up gently, like that's a, that's a natural setting for the camera. That's yeah. not the you can of course tilt it, but naturally it does that. But know? also, you can't tilt it. All the way up. No. You, yep. There is a point where it's like, that cat is not looking any further. That's right. You can't make that cat look up. Yep. Uh, whereas, like, if this was Uncharted, it's like, you could just look all the way up sure. until you sort of tip backwards. Yeah. Uh, so the, the realism there. For me, <clears throat> I think that I... So I, I have an irrational... I understand that I have an irrational, an irrational reaction to this. There's an anger that I don't know where that's coming from. That's so weird. <laughs> and I think, I think <laughs> the it, ultimate game to not be angry like at. Totally. Game, the most I think game. what it is, and I don't, and I don't mean this, but I'll say it. I think it's really cynical, and I don't, th but I don't think it comes from a cynical place. The game is. Cynical? Yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of like the develop. To me, the developers are going. People love cats. Oh, right. Streamers love cats. You think undeserved hype just because it's a and cat game. And if we make this cat the most cat, <laughs> people are just going to fucking lose it. And there's all these spots in the game where you can stop and scratch things, sure. or like do stretches and stuff. And it's a game where you look, you, oftentimes you're like picking things up or trying to interact with them. So many times I'm like, oh, is that something? And I pick it and it's like the cat stops and arches it back. I'm like, fuck's sake. <laughs> like I thought I was picking up something and I'm just like having a rest, like yeah. a fucking duck Nap time. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, That's right. happy spot. but yeah. I think that if you were, if you took out the cat, this game is super boring. This game, like as an adventure game, I don't think the puzzles, uh, I'm halfway through <laughs> really and you finished it. Sure. So I'm only halfway through. So far I have not encountered a puzzle that's been compelling or challenging it's just been like oh i didn't look in that corner and that's where the the like safe was or the book was hiding or the whatever the power thing um and if you removed the cat stuff the game doesn't really have any personality the personality comes from this cat that's wandering around uh, and so i just yeah. go like this is not there's nothing compelling about this other than how adorable this creature is. And I can hear all the streamers going, mm. oh, look at it, just a little <laughs> Like at one point I climbed up on a shelf and I thought I found something, I hit a button and he curled up and went to sleep. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. but that is such a nice shot because it pulls back it pulls, and there are these yeah, like totally. wine bottles in the foreground. Yeah, it's beautiful. Right? And I'm like, it's so adorable. But at the same time, like this doesn't feel like a game. This feels like a cat simulator and that's, yeah, yeah. Well, I, like I agree with that. I think the the puzzles are very basic. From what I've, I'm only halfway through. Mm -hmm. I mean, the cat's don't, smart. Don't get me wrong. Sure. Well, the My cat understanding is, is the cat can understand fluent English. Well, no, it's it's translated <laughs> by into, by the robot into what cats understand. Yeah. So I think he's just but, a cat. But there is that thing that I pre I predicted that I would feel before playing it <clears> in that like, sure, the cat is in this scenario, but. I'm solving the puzzle with a human brain that yes. the cat couldn't understand. No, <laughs> so that's like a, that's like a that's definitely a uh, destruction of the suspension of disbelief. Sure. But you get past it. Well, I have. Um, 
I agree that the puzzles aren't complex in a way that make them interesting. I think it's pretty rote, uh, but I don't agree that there's no personality without the cat. I think the world has heaps of personality. I think the characters you interact mm. with build the world really beautifully. Yeah. And the story that's that I've experienced so far, I think is is like it's. <clears throat> I don't think it's anything particularly new. It's like a sad post-apocalyptic kind of like melancholy, mm -hmm. but I think it is it has hit the tone well. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yes, it's a double A game. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Kenner Bridge of Spirits, right? It's like it had yep. this hook that was outside of what the game was and so that's what got people in and then it was this very basic thing inside but if you were okay with the how basic it was yep. you got an experience that sold the promise of the hook yeah mm. i think that i found i've just found it's too simplistic for me that it's like like you said like i do think the thing like <clears throat> you come up to a ledge and it does the thing where which cats do which is like walk up to a thing and size it up sure. and like take a moment That's and then right. jump up. Exactly. It's not like a run leap forward sort yeah. of thing. All of that is great, but it's also like, well, I can only jump on this, so I can't jump on that. And so it's very much like, well, this is the ledge that I can go up. And the world that it is, I think you're right. Like, I guess, yes, the world does have a bit of personality. To me, it's like the robots are also sort of almost twee at the point of like one of them is like meditating and that sort of thing because they've sort of mimicked humans. Yes, yeah. The world, but there's no humans in it, and but then the world is not this world where it's like, well, now the robots have taken over, or the cats have taken over. It's the humans have just gone, yep. but everything else is kind of the same. So I'm like, oh, I'm just kind of a cat. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a cat living in a. What if cats took over in a post-apocalyptic and not, <laughs> yeah. not, not like not started walking on two feet and whatever, but actually went. <laughs> we're going. We're not to talking about Planet of the Apes situation yeah. no, no, here. No, 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 definitely it's not. It's not like yeah. the fucking Statue of Liberty's in the background. <laughs> the cats. Are you blowing up? Um, but but like if if there was a society of cats, what would that look like? It would be disgusting. It would be. But the that, society of cats self-cleaning is my understanding. Cats above ground. Cats, yeah, but there's, there's like five of them. Yeah, Pete. Yeah, that's not a society. That's just that's just an orchard. That's just a podcast. There's an island in Japan that is all. Entirely cat. Yeah, there is. Yeah, is it really? Yeah, 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 it's pretty gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I feel like. But I'm the only person who doesn't like this game yes. on the planet. So I think a yes, lot of the yes, true. Like that is true. Out, yeah. which, is, which some, sometimes they have a, a meaningful story or a perspective that they're trying to sort of communicate. You know, and whether or not that's the case with this, I think sometimes it a game like this comes out, and if it's beautifully made, and if it lets you kind of fill the shoes of a. Of, of a creature that you Cats know, don't wear shoes. That you haven't. <laughs> Puss in boots wear shoes, you motherfucker. Oh, God. <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> get <laughs> wrecked. <laughs> so humiliated <laughs> on my own job. It allows you to fill the little <clears throat> cream socks yep. of, a, 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 of a cat. Um, I feel like in a, in a world where games are so kind of frenetic and typically violent and all that kind of stuff, sometimes it's nice to just let people be a cat. Yeah, totally. I totally agree with that. And I, and I feel like that is, I mean, because I think you're, I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. I'm just like, trying to unpack your criticism. It's like the core conceit of the game is like, you're just a cat. But for you, you're like, that's not that's a good enough. conceit. Cause you're basically like, well, if you take the cat out of that equation, it's not a, it's not a good experience, but it's like, well, that's kind of just, it's like take the power washer out of power wash simulator. Do you know what <laughs> no, I mean? True. It's yeah. like, that's the whole thing. Yeah, totally. I, yeah. And so I think in terms of the, uh, the objectives that that game set for itself and also set with its audience, I think it really nailed it. Because, and, I, and I also think that no other game has given me quite the same experience of controlling an animal with that same level of realism. It doesn't, Except it doesn't. like Eco the Dolphin. Totally. You know, how yeah. is that? You know? It doesn't control like a car. Like it is like, no. it controls like a cat. Sure. Like if, if there's a world and like, God willing, there will be one day where we can somehow remote control cats. <laughs> then they will remote exactly control us before that happens. Uh, I saw El Beno in the chat said that uh, well, all I'm hearing is Nick hates cats. So not even true. We're thinking about buying a cat. Ooh. And I mean, that cat, We'll know it's fucking place. Uh, but yeah, I'm. But I'm, I hate cats, by the way, and I love this game. There you go. I actually, I am very happy that everyone else uh, is enjoying it. I uh, will cut quickly between cameras if you enjoy. If you did not enjoy this game, he can't cut between the cameras. But there you go. He did yeah, not yeah, enjoy he, it. He's yeah, the he had person on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, but I did see uh, Barjo said that um, the the highest achievement of this game is that it has masterly avoided any shot featuring cat anus. And that's very true. That's true. Oh, that yeah, is that's so cool. true. Yeah. Yep. Well spotted, Bajo. Because they are everywhere. Some they serious detective work right there. Yeah, that's oh. right. Uh, talk to me about, uh, speaking of things that do control like cars. Mm. Cars. Hot Wheels. Actual cars. Yeah. They control like cars. Um, Hot Wheels. They just did a Forza. Wait, Forza just did a Hot Wheels expansion. 
Um, and I've been playing it for the last day and a half. It's incredible. Yes. Um, awesome. It's actually incredible. I didn't... Okay, so fair warning. I didn't play the um, Forza 3 Hot Wheels expansion. Mm -hmm. So this could be the same as that. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, this is the first time I've experienced it. And I enjoyed Forza. I was like, this is a really well-made game. I appreciate the production values. This is cool, but I'm not a racing guy. I'm loving this. Just yeah, like, good. it's so joyful. Yeah. It's just like... You're seeing the spectacle of it here with this person who just keeps oh. bouncing into the side. <laughs> like Will, the Will is this up, you yeah. driving right now? And I hope not. Um, but look at this. <laughs> driving is so bad. That's, that's how this I car, by the way, handles like you wouldn't believe. It's like it's stuck to the track. So this person is really person working sucks. hard to hit these walls. By Maybe the they're just putting it through its paces. Maybe, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but it is essentially, you know how, I'm not sure if you played much Forza Horizon. Yeah, okay, it's cool. a little bit, yeah. So, you know, you have the big expansive open world with lots of different biomes and there's maps and there's um, the events uh, sort of scattered throughout it. This is its own massive open world area. Everything you see, this is not one course. This is all the courses, okay? Oh, right. And so it actually... Oh, you know, it all links together. It all links together. So you can drive from this glacier, these glacial peaks this eventually leads down into a volcano, which I don't know if it's, we'll see it here, but then there's a jungle area and there's like is a... This on the existing no, map. No, no, so it's separate from the Mexico Sick. map. Yep, yep. Wow. So you kind of teleport there. And uh, yeah, some of this is the magnet track here. So you're stuck to it. You're always doing loop to loops. You're always on your side as well. And the car, it's um, based upon how fast you're going and how heavy the car is. You will need to sort of like correct for that. That's what that little crosshair thing at the top mm -hmm. is there, right? right? It's actually oh, telling yeah. you oh, yeah. what your tilt is. So you can kind of compensate for it in your steering. But you don't need that actually. I turned that off pretty quickly. Um, but it is so, just as I said, such a joy to play. Yes. So beautiful. I love it. To I, me, it's is like the kind of game that is just begging for a level editor. Oh, well, yeah. If you should play Hot Wheels Unleashed then in that case. Because yeah. Hot Wheels, did you play that last year? Uh, Will did. Okay, he he right. loved it. Okay, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, Hot Wheels Unleashed, exactly. It's that. Really? Yeah. Oh. It, it is. But the thing is, Hot Wheels Unleashed is still kind of like a double A game, right? It looks nice, but the production values are nothing compared to this. Yeah. And I feel really lucky that we get a product like this because you're talking essentially about the most cutting edge racing game on the market today with the highest possible production values mm. and the largest library of cars or garage of cars, whatever. But you get to experience this fun ass Hot Wheels adventure. <laughs> and it's like, how did that get and, made? Yeah, you know and what it I mean? like, totally that's... fits in the Horizon oh. brand of going, yeah. we've basically taken everything we learned from Forza and then gone, yes, but what if it was fun? <laughs> uh, and, 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 and just and totally went wild. How, how does, because I love Forza Horizon. Sure. Mm. How, how is it? Because the thing about Forza is there are races and stuff, yes. but it's all open world. Yes. Here's you very much confined to a thing does it still uh, in terms of like you're just on this track the whole time yeah for oh i see yeah no like dirt you're and right water and wind and water and, and you can go in any that. direction that sort of yeah. thing does it feel like there is a still a sense because i didn't realize yeah, it was cool. all these connected things yep. is there a sense of like freedom of i'm gonna go in this in this direction of the thing or is it always one track thing? it's much more limited yeah, so there yeah. are little sections where you can kind of get off the track and do a little bit of exploring in the volcano or in the waterfall area or the jungle or what have you they're pretty small though most of the time you're on a track but yep. the track is it has lots of different turning points as in you can go left or right like junctions yep. you're just coming up yeah that's what here. i meant like yeah. choices yeah, you just, to make you just of pass going, one yeah, there yeah, where cool. you could have gone to a different <clears> biome if you turn yeah, right cool. but they're staying they're staying in this one so um yeah it's not a single track and i wish i could show you the map i'm uh, this isn't going to show this is just b-roll isn't it yeah yeah cool so um but the map is huge and it looks like this big spaghetti mess of yeah, yeah, track awesome. and oh it's yeah it's it's, it's, it's so it's expansive <clears throat> are there there's challenges or something yep. are there, there races yeah so it as well there are four different sort of or five different leagues they started like amateur and then pro and then you go up there's five of them they each have different race uh race events in them and so that is actual organized races as well as challenges so you'll have a challenge on there to go from this place to this place in this type of car sure. or to get, you know, or, or even those like um, on the map challenges. Oh, here we go. Are we going to see the map? Oh, oh. oh. No, no, click it. No, no, click it. No, no, no. no. Oh, I'm looking at the settings. The settings are so boring. What is this? A PC gamer review? Come on now. Um, no. So uh, they're also just the things where it's like, you know, the speed trap stuff and mm -hmm. the, yeah, the get, cool. get, nice get, do a big yeah. jump uh, stuff. And, and the but you can see sports. a bit of that, like all the crossover and stuff here of yeah. the different tracks, like, overlaying on yes one like that. la yeah <laughs> exactly those turn <laughs> plus it also has a day night cycle it looks so nice at night you're seeing this night stuff here um i, I had a mist before is there weather um 
don't, I actually haven't noticed any rain. No, I don't think so. Don't quote me on that, but maybe I've just been lucky enough to mm -hmm. not experience it. I don't believe there's weather. But there are times where the track is just a slippery, like a water slide. And oh, so the entire awesome. track is covered in water and you're just kind of slipping down it in whatever oh. car you happen to have. And this is included in Game Pass? Unfortunately not. Oh. So there's, uh, you have to buy this outright with the game or you can buy a, um, you can buy the upgrade and that applies to your Game Pass edition, yeah, okay, right? right? So you, sure. you don't need to buy the base game. You can just buy this expansion and it will work with How much was it? That's yeah. pretty good. I believe it's... Uh, at least earlier, twenty nine ninety five. Okay, cool. Steam. On Steam, <coughs> also available. So then that's probably a US <coughs> price. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's maybe. 30 or 40 US Australian dollars. I don't know. Um, I'm looking at this based on the trajectory that I'm going with it. I expect there's going to be at least... I'm going to say 10 to 15 hours to get through oh, all wow. of that stuff. Oh, it's cool. not small by any means. Um, and obviously, there's all the cars to collect. But um, I, as I said, really love this. As someone that liked Forza and really enjoyed, that's the ice area as well, mm -hmm. and really enjoyed um, Hot Wheels Unleashed last year. The only part of the fucking footage where they don't hit the wall. Is yeah, he's <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, this person's nailing it, by the way. Oh, no, there we go. Ah, oh, the rewind, the cheeky rewind. Uh, but yeah, I think at that price, it seems like really good value to me. And um, I really would you know recommend it yeah i didn't realize awesome. it was this big yeah, that yeah. really felt i thought it was just like a few special races and that was kind of it so yeah that's sick no it's awesome. a full expansion as i said i think over i'm, I'm gonna say 50 cars but don't quote me on that um but yeah the, oh here's the map here we go yeah, here we you go you can see yeah there's this yeah. huge spaghetti map that goes there's twice the distance above that as well awesome. um it's it's just awesome i love it cool uh now that car if there is weather if it rains and there's mud on the track it's going to fly up onto your bonnet. You're going to want to clean that car. You will. Segue? No, it's yes. brilliant. Yeah. It's genius. Yeah. How are you going to clean that yeah. car? Yeah. Um, with my tongue. Is that <laughs> the, yeah, going like, in the sexual Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Section. I'm trying to vibe with the back pocket. <laughs> yeah. group, you know what I mean? Yeah. Make it sexual as <laughs> much as possible. Just going to give everyone a hand job and then watch the car. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, the power washer. <laughs> Obviously, use the power washer. Obviously. And I feel like I've been talking a lot. Have you guys played power washer at all? I've no, I'm, it's on my list though. I've oh, okay. Seen doing other it this weekend. Play it, and I feel like I get the gist. Okay. But, uh, Tell me what you think the gist is then, because maybe that's the good starting point. Um, that everything's really, really dirty, and you got to make it clean. Nice. <laughs> Love it. It's a chore call game. Oh, I like. I've never heard that before. Yeah, I've chore heard call. this chore call being like uh, one of the like just. Boring jobs that you could do in real life. <laughs> but you, you can't be asked. Like, like yeah. literally. Like PC building simulator yeah, stuff. Totally, yeah. yeah. Like, literally, <laughs> my front deck needs <laughs> yeah. to be power washed, and I have a power washer. <laughs> and I, yeah, and I will be playing this this Cause, weekend. Because I was going to say, I, do you want me to bring my power washer over? <laughs> I will yeah. do your deck before I do mine. <laughs> no, but it's the kind of thing that I feel like we would never, wouldn't probably not buy. Oh, it's yeah. So cool to use when you have access oh, yeah, to it. Yeah, I'll bring the power washer. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is so great. You got two we own one? Yeah. <laughs> well, that is now a you have moment. no excuse to not be power We're washing like, everything. <laughs> We're to make a lot of things that are really, really dirty, really, really clean. Incredible. Oh, what, a, really what a reveal. It's <laughs> kind of so that level is, reveal. That's right. Uh, how are you enjoying power washing things? So uh, I'm loving it, actually. I'm still, I actually was just playing it last night in bed, believe it or not, on my Steam Deck. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's right. It's all the cool kids yeah. have it. That's right. Steam Deck buddies. We should get them together. They could kiss. Anyway, um, make one for you. So, <laughs> uh, baby one. It's it's okay. So obviously, just in case, again, you haven't heard of it. It is exactly what you think it is. You are a power washer. You have a power wash hose thing. We call it a gurney here, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brand though. It's, it's a brand. Yeah, I was. Yeah, like, why yeah. do we call it a gurney? That's a hospital stretcher thing. Why do we use I that? Always, but I always heard it at a high pressure hose, which is a lot of words. But I've never yeah. never heard of a power washer yeah, yeah. Actually, high pressure hose right. would probably that's that'd be a direct translation from the german or something <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So pressure hose is high <laughs> <laughs> so, so um yeah you are you are just power washing shit man that's the whole game like you're but seeing very the satisfying. Shit. Uh, incredibly satisfying i i really did because i remember when i heard about this the first time i heard about this was when i was tweeting out about game pass and yep. it was included in Game Pass that month. It was also the same month Peppa Pig was on Game Pass. Yes. And I'm like, Peppa and, Pig, let's go. And uh, Paw Patrol. 
And Paw Patrol, Paw, yep. right? Yeah, yep. sure. So um, I'm more of a Pepper Man myself. Yeah, so that's me why look, me too. I don't yeah. fuck with the Popo. Of course. And uh, and so, but everyone else was like, "No, man, fuck Pepper. It's all about that power wash <laughs> life." Pepper. I know, right? And I was like, first of all, show some respect. <laughs> Secondly, uh, all right, I guess I'll take it. I'll take a look. I thought people were just maybe having a laugh, but some people look serious. So I booted it up. Shit, look and, how clean that gets. Yeah, it does that little video at the end. Oh, it shows yeah, you what you so did. Good. Awesome, it's what so a satisfying. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as soon as I started playing it, I was like, I immediately understood why this is a thing, and I can see it's going to be huge. How and sure enough, it's gone massive. Many decks did you draw in? Uh, and my second stage on this stage on the pavement, I drew my first dick right here. Good unfortunately, <laughs> are we? No, this B-roll is not going to have yeah, any dick no. pics, unfortunately. No but dicks. um, it's it's an important part of the gameplay experience. I you feel. can imagine that. And uh, now I'm assuming it's hyper realistic in terms of nozzles pressures, this sort of stuff? Well, the, the first thing I did when I started was I was like, I'm going to get the highest possible pressure. Of course. And I'm going to go as close as <laughs> yeah, possible uh, to yeah. something and I'm going to yeah. see if I can destroy it. I want to put a hole in this. <laughs> strip, the de- strip the juco, you know. Yeah. And uh, sure enough, nothing happened. So there is no uh, kind of, right. there's no simulation no of term damage. damage. You yeah. can literally just power wash anything as much as you like. There's no hard mode to allow you to damage things with the power washer. So why like would you choose real life. anything other than the hardest? Because... <laughs> Spray because the different yeah. nozzles have different um, widths, so yeah. you can cover more width, but that the trade-off is less pressure. So, uh, yeah, that's the thing. And also reach as well. Like the little, the single nozzle that just does like a little tiny goes really far. Mm-hmm. But obviously if you're doing the wide nozzle, yeah. then it's just like a little mist in front of you kind of and thing. And do you have to get rid of every bit of dirt to complete the level or, very, can, or does it go like close enough? Very good question. Because um, on some of the larger areas, they can tell that you've done enough, right? Mm. And so, because you can actually press a button to show how much dirt is remaining and it will kind of highlight it. But sometimes little bits of dirt are so tiny. They're like pixel pixel small, the game will just be like, ah, oh, you've done enough. And then but you see that little bar in the top left-hand corner? Yeah. Uh, it, Not it, complete. It's, it's, it's fully white there, but as he's going back between different surfaces, it's showing which ones. Yeah, right. Are, you know what, what I mean? Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, horizontal yeah, yeah, bar, yeah. Not, not the circular one, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, that will tell you how much more you've got to go, plus you can actually press that button. Plus, as I said, the game just cuts you a break after a while because some of these get areas get so massive. Yeah. There's like this mini golf course that is like, imagine this this backyard level times that by like eight. That's one level that that's you can so do. Long. But you can play wow. co-op though, up to four people. Oh, that's good. That's cool. That's nice. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me about uh, sound design. You know, it's, it's, it's good actually in the sense that you can listen to it for hours on end and it doesn't become great. Yeah, yeah. Right? And that was my big concern because I listened to an audiobook while I was... I was going to say, this is well. like prime podcast audiobook game. 100%. And are you a person or are you just a host? You are a person and you can <laughs> see yourself. And in fact, there's cosmetics that you can unlock through Hell playing. Yes. Ah. Like, you know, different color suits and gloves oh. and skins for your power washer. Like it's a fucking mm. COD Warzone kind of thing. But it's, all, <laughs> it's all free, by the way. There's no... Microphone. My power washer looks like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Nice. Um, and yeah, that's it. And so Amazing. it's... It's, it's very uh, the best part about it though, and you don't get in this B-roll, is that when you clear off a section, it makes this little like ding sound, oh, yeah. and you just start to live for that ding. As in, and, and when like, you say section, like that would be the, brain. the, the yeah. tiles, in yeah, like here, you, you or like this part of the fence. Correct, like that yeah, part nice. of the fence is one nice, section, nice, nice. and you clear it, and it highlights briefly, and goes ding, yeah. and you just like give me some more of that ding, man. I need it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you just keep going. I love it. It's it's very addictive. My partner's gonna be so fucking angry when she walks in on me playing this. <laughs> <on> the- <laughs> The <clears throat> two things, okay, there's multiple things that suck about actual power washing. <laughs> power washing in real life, your lower half gets drenched. Yep. Sure. sure. You got to wear gumboots. You should wear gaiters. It's just awful. You are attached to the hose. Yep. So, like, you have to be within, like, tap distance at all times. <clears throat> yep. Uh, and cleaning a deck, you... You, you, you cut through all the filth that's on top of it, but some of it's on there better than other stuff. Sure. Some of it goes away. You have to go over a spot. You can't go over it too much because you start to damage like, the right. surface that you're on. Oh, uh, oh. You need to... You can so see not, the streak that you left that looks unless you do it perfectly. Yeah, correct. So it's just like it's the most tedious job. It's and this risk looks, as well. You don't want to fuck up your deck. You don't yeah, want to fuck up the deck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to fuck up the deck? Your deck. 
Sounds like you want to use the wide spray nozzle. <laughs> yeah, but then you're not going to get the only prime knew off. You had a fucking power washer five minutes ago. <laughs> <clears throat> this looks like it. This looks like a delight. It's, so, this it's is all the payoff of power washing. Exactly right. With none of that. With none it's of the, the, anything you just described. It's yeah. the call of duty of power washing. <laughs> of yeah. just going like actually firing a gun <laughs> yeah. is terrifying. Not a good idea. Difficult. <laughs> uh, you'll get shot before you shoot anyone. <laughs> yeah. Where's this? Yeah, that's totally. Right. That's right. Uh, this good. step is the clippy of power washers. <laughs> <laughs> Have Just you tried? With a the wine does. That's right. <laughs> Bing. Did you know uh, you already own one? <laughs> uh, excellent. Okay, cool. Game Pass as well. It is on Game Pass. Fantastic. Which is yep. Fantastic. I it's, think it was yeah the the most downloaded on Game Pass in the month at all. Not launched. remotely surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Not remotely surprised. I love these kinds of games. Uh, good. That's a good. That's a good uh, variety game. Steph, we go from Power Wash to PowerPoint. Yeah, that's right. I've been playing PowerPoint Presentation Simulator. Uh, which doesn't exist. I've just been making a lot of PowerPoint presentations. But here's what I want to know, because I feel like there are... So I understand Excel as a program is, like, difficult. Yep. There's a barrier for entry yeah, there if you're yeah. not an Excel It's like person. courses that you can take about all the shit you do. Yeah, know, yeah. So. But I feel like the ones that are more creative are the ones that I'm like, yeah, I get this. I get how it works. But it's, like, surprisingly difficult. And they have this, like, function, and I won't talk about this for a long time because it's very boring. Why are we talking about Excel? Why are we talking about PowerPoint? PowerPoint? What happened? Oh, no, I'm not talking about... I'm talking about PowerPoint. Again. Okay. I'm saying... <laughs> I'm, the office suite of products. I understand <laughs> that Excel would... There'd be a high barrier for entry. There. Okay, yes. But yeah, as a yeah. creative person, I would think that PowerPoint would be more easy. Mm, 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 mm. But it's, like, surprisingly difficult, I think, as it's evolved and they've added more features that are buried within <coughs> menus. But there's, like, a function where, like, you put in, like, say, two images... And then, like, two. Welcome to the show. <laughs> I was going to say, what is going What are we talking about? I just want to get feedback from the audience. <laughs> and then you hit. Like, I, like, I left consulting, so I didn't have to talk about PowerPoints anymore. And now we're back. <laughs> and you hit the design button where yep. it like, gives you suggestions of like 100%. cool layouts. Yep. Yep. And sometimes I'll put, like, I'll be like, oh, wait, now I want to add a third image in there. And it just freaks out. And it's like, I have no design options for you. And I don't understand why That's adding bullshit. a third image to that. <laughs> That's bullshit. It would, make, it would struggle so much. <clears throat> so I need some like PowerPoint tips from people. And if anyone can help me, because I'm making a lot of PowerPoint presentations. Can I can stressful. I admit something terrible? And you can't. This can't go beyond this podcast. This okay. is a, this is a okay. back pocket. We're not live right, right now. Back pocket. Everyone pretend back it's the post show. And the cone of silence is here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Every single po um, thumbnail I've ever made on my channel has yeah. been on PowerPoint. Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? Why? What the hell? I know, right? Yep. That's Why? Yep. Why? Wait, so because you're who I need to talk to? <laughs> I, I am PowerPoint? actually because I came from a consulting background and I know how to use PowerPoint, right? I know exactly how to use that fucking thing. Right. And then I was like, all right, I'll just do this then. And then I never. Well, that to learn anything else, and so that's why my thumbnails are so shit. That is <laughs> uh, well. Okay, so I didn't want to say shit, but there is a simplicity yes. to your like, and it is yeah. like like Ralph is Ralph Ralph's aesthetic is real <laughs> picture with text on one Correct. side. That's right, and it's all That's coming out. Is. And it's like, as soon as you get really to the third no, picture, it falls apart. Yeah, it's got really no it's layers got to this thing. None. It's got real slide energy. It's got massive <laughs> slide energy. <laughs> <laughs> so that is why, and I believe. Oh, amazing! It's BSE. It's got big slide <laughs> energy. energy. Yep. Amazing. Um, so. Though I will say, uh, I did need help with uh, making a rundown template for low key for like you know the big you know like pog picks and the big shows oh, that we yep, do. Yep, and yep. someone helped me out. Like I paid one of the pocketeers. So there are definitely nerds out there who are like, oh, I can make you like a a, a template presentation that will be adaptable for all your yeah. needs. So we'll get you onto that. <laughs> yeah, okay, because mine's a hot mess. Anyway, uh, and then uh, we uh, we <coughs> played, I keep wanting to say And Dusk Till Dawn, which is a movie yep. with yep. Salma Hayek yep. and Quentin Tarantino. Yep. That is not the name of it. It is Dusk, As dusk Falls. As dusk, dusk Falls, thank you. Um, which is like a narrative choice narrative cinematic game. Yep. Um, <coughs> apparently made during COVID. So it's a particular <coughs> art style that doesn't, Gel with everyone in yep. that it's okay. kind of like uh, it's like a PowerPoint presentation. It's like a PowerPoint. Yeah, that's like right. They made the whole game in PowerPoint, actually. Yeah, <laughs> point, they won't admit it. Ralph made it. Not like me. I'm open with you. <laughs> it's kind of got, like, like a I'm the lead dev, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's an all female studio, so <laughs> that's definitely not the case. <laughs> um, it looks like a kind of um, it's got like a painterly quality mm -hmm. over like you know would look like still frames of something that they have shot maybe against a green screen and put a background into. But uh, it works. I think uh, it's a bit jarring at first because you're kind of watching long still frames of people pulling an expression. Yep. But uh, after a while, it kind of like, it kind of 
grows on you, I think. And the premise is you are a, a family who are driving across Arizona. Yep. Um, with, uh, yes, it's you and your wife and your young daughter and your estranged father who you haven't seen for 30 years. Joe Biden. Who's just uh, turned up in your life again because he uh, is unwell. And it's like, prison. you know what? I'm, uh, I want to live the last years of my life um, with my family. So that's the setup. Uh, and there is a, an altercation that you end up having with a group of youths who are trying to, like, rob a place and be delinquents or whatever. I hate, I hate youths, man. They're the worst. Nice. Yeah. Youths are rogue, terrible. Rogue youths. Mm. Um, so we kind of quickly got into the uh, choice aspect of trying to decide whether or not we were going to role play a character or choose the best choices that we thought were best for this family. Yep. Um, we being you and I streamed it last night. You and I streamed it last night. We wanted to play, because there's a, you can play with up to eight players in co-op for this. Yeah. But there's also that uh, like stream crowd function where you can kind of link it to your Twitch mm, channel and cool. uh, everyone you, can <laughs> vote by going hashtag a number and they can sway what happens. And you have the option to, this is quite a, quite a cool mechanic because I've played a few games that have this audience vote option. I think with Life is Strange, it was like the audience votes this and you can choose whether or not you want to go with what the audience chooses. This, it's like whatever the audience chooses goes and you have the option to override in the last five seconds but you only get three overrides Ooh. per chapter. That's cool. Yeah. So you I have like to that. kind of be selective with when you choose to go against Which the... Which you very much were not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, chat, chat was wrong. Um, but the thing that was annoying that we found first off was that we wanted to play in multiplayer and have this audience function and we couldn't. It was like you could only play in multiplayer as a group or you can play solo and have the audience. And the co-op the co stuff being that um, you can do the quick time events. Yeah. Sort like of like we it would shove some quick time yeah, events. Yeah, 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 the quick time events and yep. stuff together. And I imagine some of the choice stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, so, totally. <clears throat> um, but I, I'm totally loving this. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. it's like the I was re I really was looking forward to it. Um, the voice acting solid. The voice acting is great. Really, um, I've heard like kind of mixed things about. The, like no, there's one guy. Oh, okay. There's one guy who's a real dick, and he's he's very much a like black and white whatever sort of like. Bad the guy. cartoonish villain yes, kind of yeah. Product. Um okay. But everyone else is pretty good. The main um, guy is voiced by the same guy as um, Adam Jensen from um, Day Six. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I never yeah, asked right. for this. That oh, guy. Wow. Yeah, he yeah, doesn't yeah. sound. I love Elias is, is yeah. rough. Yeah, right. Um, but uh, I have, you know, like I love FMV. I love this sort of stuff. I love murder mystery things. I very much fell into this. I got used to the art style, which I don't really, I don't really. I like that they've gone for a look. I think it doesn't look like a lot of other games out there. Mm. It doesn't really gel with me, but I did the thing where I started seeing the frames in between the frames where it was totally. like yeah. I kind of my brain just added the technical context and stuff. What's jarring I think is that you see so many people with their mouth open. Do you know what I mean? Because <laughs> yeah. like you're trying to not get people with their mouth closed all the time because that's not it doesn't look like a realistic frame of, of life. Mm. But then when you get so many long held frames of someone going <laughs> <laughs> like that, yeah. And when there's two, when there's two male characters on screen, sometimes it's hard to tell who's talking because there's just like this freeze, and then yeah. But um, but the story is really compelling. It is like this real sort of um, families and lives intersecting in this one hotel, um, uh, motel uh, sort of place, and uh, and 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 is quite slow burn as well. Like we're two chapters in, the six chapters total. Apparently, it's like two books, so there's like two parts to this story but it is it is pretty slow burn but i would say pretty compelling and it it, it does that thing where it shows you the branching storyline and the other options that you could have taken oh, okay. um to sort of show that it doesn't all funnel you necessarily back into the same point and does it show you that at the end or like during your playthrough end, play of, through? end chapter. of a chapter oh, okay, yeah. okay, and it okay, also okay. shows you the percentage <clears throat> of choices that other people made and stuff which mm. i love as a yep. social experiment i think some of the most interesting things that are happening in video games are narrative choice stuff because it's such an interesting comment like i guess a, a social experiment to see how people try to weigh up the right decision in any given moment and when you see those stats of course there are some people <clears throat> like our chat who are just like let's just choose the dumbest choice yeah. ever Worst fucking because we're all <laughs> <laughs> you were just saying that before the show you were saying you hate your community. i was no like everyone says Little like dicks. oh we've got the best community yeah. and it's we have the worst group yeah, of that's... people watching the show they were so 
badly behaved last I, ne- night. I needed to it's, I needed to stop <clears throat> talking because I was just like, well, obviously we're not going to choose that. That would be the worst decision. And it's just like everyone pile it's on. It's like them. grab the Love gun it. that's being pointed directly <laughs> yeah, in your yeah. back. <laughs> Let's put your child's life at risk. <laughs> oh, Hold the child in front of the rabid dog. Yeah. But it, uh, it, yeah. yeah, it does feel like the choices have consequence. It's cool to see all the kind of light and shade within the choices that you get to make. It's not just like one, I think, you know, the earliest version of this stuff that we were sort of seeing um, really be impactful was were, were Telltale games, which I feel like a lot of the time was throwing two horrible options at you and you're trying to choose the one which you think is going to be better. Mm-hmm. And then it would be like, ha ha, actually, that was the worst choice. And you'd be like, God damn it, game. Whereas this feels a lot more nuanced in the kinds of decisions. Yeah, there's definitely to... a lot of grey in a, in a good way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I really like that. Because, yeah, with Telltale's games... Not all of them, but like I think about the Walking Dead series, and uh, even more recently playing um, uh, Not Until Dawn Quarry. Yeah. Like the the most recent narrative, and the things that come to mind when I think about narrative choice games is that someone will die if you fuck up here. Does this game have that, or is it try, is it playing against that a little bit? Or? It had. It does have tension of going. There's a lot of there's a lot of like high stakes moments where you think that if I make the wrong decision, something bad could happen. But I think it is at the moment, because we are only a third of the way through so far, yeah. it, it, nothing dramatically awful has happened, but there has been a really good ratcheting of tension as a result of what we did. So we did a thing. It's not like someone got their head blown off straight away, which was more like Walking Dead, like you didn't grab the hand in time and now that yeah. person's being in by a zombie. It does feel like we've made a lot of the right choices, which I just think is because we're gamers. We're pretty good. <laughs> um, but, um, but, but there is this, this, the screws are tightening and I think it's it's doing a really good job of building tape. It really does feel much more like a TV show yeah, than cool. that. I, even think though- I, sh- I think, I don't know if there was, I know there's an option to extend the quip time events, but I would say that we should probably drop them down a little bit because I feel like I want to see what happens more if, if we, you miss, if out, we on miss out on some of yeah. those. Because it feels like we're making good choices and also we're nailing all the quick time events. <laughs> um, and so, <laughs> and so uh, it feels like we're not really getting to see the consequences of, of some of those actions that could really mess things up because it does, there are a lot of moments where I'm like, oh, this is totally that moment where, um, you know, if we, if we choose to let that character go out there. Then if then they stumble. Yeah, yeah, if they stumble, then they're probably going to get yeah, in a of fire yeah. or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. But I will say that, um, <clears throat> I mean, I think about the first Walking Dead Telltale game and I still remember, like, I, I played that on my, like, gaming laptop that was so there, and <laughs> yeah. like sitting on my couch and going I'll check this out and then playing it all in one go oh, yeah. and just going like I had not been affected by a video game story in that way before I was really knocked out by that fucking first game yeah, yeah. and um this Nick Floyd think, will remember that ex- yeah <laughs> and I think we've seen a lot of that since then but this this is a really good version of of telling you a story where it feels like you're never really going to make the right decision mm. and you just need to do yeah, the best sure. you can to get mm. through this. So, And there's a lot of information being revealed about these characters sort of slowly throughout as well. It's not like you meet this person, this is their deal, the end. It's like, oh, yeah. actually this person <laughs> has this going on. And there's a lot of cool things that kind of um, give these characters depth and history throughout that colours your opinion of them as you go on, yeah. which is great for when you're making choices about who should live or die. <laughs> totally, yeah. Pull your mic a little closer. Oh, sorry. Uh, and this is on Game Pass as well. And so yeah, that's yeah. crazy, isn't it? If you if you're into this sort of stuff, like it's a no brainer for sure. Yeah, um, I'm so interested because I really have heard so many mixed things. Not in the sense that like most people say it's okay, but like some people say it's fantastic, mm-hmm. top tier writing, top tier performances, everything just tick 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 tick. And some people are like, no, nah, it's pretty shit. Like the writing is really bad, the voice acting is <laughs> yeah. terrible. And mm-hmm. like I really have seen that those spectrums of response. There's only to one it. character, and it's Dale, who is the sort of cartoon villain right. kid. Uh, he gets minimized relatively quickly, but he's still in it. Um, sure. uh, I, I, but I would definitely say, like, I would say it's worth checking out for an hour sure, and just sure. going, see if you get pulled into it. I think that it is a slow burn as mm-hmm. well in terms of, like, it's nothing about it is a video game. It is very much like you are watching an episode of Better Call Saul or something where it's like, this is just going to take a while to reveal its thing to you. And it is, you are just watching a story unfold. It's really not, there's not a lot of like, everything is grounded, grounded, realistic. Sure. This yeah, is how yeah, life yeah, sure. And that character feels bad because they, they make him so like obviously despicable and annoying and horrible from the outset. They're like, oh, this is the person that's probably going to die and I need to 
and they want us to feel okay with that. Yeah. Mm. You know, whereas... Like it's like, a dog. It's like, come on, who are you, <laughs> Nick talking about stray? <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so that is As Dusk Falls, Peter Burns. Yes. What have you been playing? I've been playing Halo. Non-stop, what is forever. You're the only one day. still playing it, by the way. It's just you in the lobby. There are others. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the like you one queuing one. up and you load in Slayer and then it's like match. <laughs> <laughs> and then you Victory. win. Victory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was talking about the co-op, but he actually just booted up on two computers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> just <laughs> doing these ones. Like, what, what Here is a prime example of what co-op has to offer. Teabagging your friends. Nice. Uh, I'm in the flight. This is GOG. Uh, I know if, I know a bunch of people are, um, have installed the flight because Ooh, it looks nice. It's it do, it looks great. Uh, anyone who has the game on Xbox can sign up to the Halo Insider th and play it on Xbox. Where else would you have the game? It's PC. Steam. Oh, okay, right. Sorry, I see what you mean. You fucking idiot! <laughs> what, the, what a casual. I know. What a casual. Uh, question. You can't play the flight on the Xbox app on PC. You can play it through Steam. That's where the but, you, but you also can't sign up to the Steam one. It's too late to do that now. So yes, you, correct. We're in. You're in. Yeah, right. If you're in the Insider program. Yep. Which yep. why wouldn't you pick? Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, Halo nerds. <laughs> I'm in. I got the invite. I just chose not right. to install it. Thank you, Jaden. So <laughs> not invited. <me. laughs> yeah. uh, so I played uh, with Joe. I've played through the campaign a bunch of times. He has as well. So we were just having fun running around, uh, and <clears throat> it feels great. Feels just like you remember Halo co-op feeling which is just like everyone just cause some mayhem sure. and power through some aliens you play on legendary and it's and it's not particularly challenging because there's a bunch of guns going off uh the boss fights though are scaled the health is scaled so they go on for mm. a bit longer mm. it's not like they're more difficult in any other way except that they're it's more spongy just boss tanking, fights yeah. but they kind of were spongy boss fights in the single they player anyway it was like break the shield took a while so the, breaking the shield takes about the same amount of time because there's four times the amount of shield but four times the amount of weapons shooting mm -hmm. at that shield sure. so it doesn't just end and like you know flutter out it's it, it feels quite it still feels like a fun challenge of grinding that down uh and running around together is fun there's i think people will who are waiting for the co-op uh will experience the joy of it in in a, in a the way that you'd expect to um it's obviously the same game that came out at the end of last year there's mm -hmm. nothing new except for the fact that you can play with friends i will play through with whoever wants to play through because i've already played through the game the campaign six or seven times you can do it again oh yeah so i'll play with you yeah let's do right, it man uh, i'm gonna stream it as well this week with other people in the insider program so we'll we got to uh no, no, no! We got to, we got. I'm gonna organize on Discord. Who wants to play? So we'll we'll team up and, and do it tomorrow. Does the because uh, the open world obviously was very new for Halo. Yep. I uh, I imagine that feels very fun in a co-op environment. Uh, has yeah? Has does that change the co-op vibe of Halo <laughs> since co-op is so integral to the Halo experience? Like yeah. It's no because. You, the thing that people were complaining about, there's a tether, right? There's a tether to the host. So players can move a thousand feet away from the host or oh, they get right. killed. Okay. They drop oh, dead. Okay. Right, but okay. it's like... It gives you warning. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's like you're going too far away from the host. Like heaps of multiplayer games yeah, sure, do that. Sure. And it's like, well, if you're not within 300 meters yeah. of the player that... The host... What is going on? Well, you're not playing cooperatively, sure, so yeah. why are you playing co-op? No. Uh, so it's, it's... I think just to think... Uh, Hating on Halo is really popular good, right now. It's a good particularly with people who like Halo. Of yes. Everyone hates Halo. They're, the right the <laughs> they're the ones who hate the most. Yeah. Of course they are because they're the ones that feel like slighted by the fact that it's not the game they yeah. wanted it to be. Sure. Um, and so they just pick on anything. But like the reality of that is 300 meters is heaps of oh, room. Tons. For you, yeah, yeah. Heaps of room for you to all of you to be attacking a mission from a completely different angle on the map. Well, yeah, because, uh, yeah, that's, well, that's more what I was talking about, because I, because, you know, like, I really liked Halo Infinite, um, and I found that I, I liked the fact that so many of the big fights was like, I'm going to approach from here. Oh, fuck, this is not working out at yes. all. I'm going to go around this side now and yep. figure this out. And in a co-op environment, it's still all the same stuff, but now you're all attacking from like all those vantage points and stuff and being able to like isolate the little groups of enemies and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. In that more open world environment feels like that's the like a true realization almost of what 
Halo to- co-op was always kind of wanted to be. Totally. And you're like, you're doing your own little thing yep. and there's someone else doing their own yeah, little cool. thing. And ultimately the mission ends heaps quicker because you've all kind of like been working towards the same goal. Yeah, sure. Uh, and does it run well or have they apologised for something? <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Yeah, uh, did they, yeah. Did they fix your gun that was not firing every... They did fix that. They fixed that a while back. But yeah. Uh, you know, they're incrementally patching it. Halo is still not in a... Did they fix your gun, honey? <laughs> did they fix your gun? <laughs> they get it? Yeah, <laughs> they, yeah they broke the, love, they broke love, love the that core. <laughs> I don't know if you saw this news. The, no. the battle rifle. Sure. Uh, in a patch, the season two release... The gun would jam, gun jam <laughs> because the in, they they to to combat a way that people were cheating. Oh, I see. Just firing too quickly. Sure. They put more of a delay on the input registration, which meant, and it was just enough that it was yeah, of course, catching, interrupting. Catching, yeah. Sure. Uh, so it, it was God, called the sucks. gun the gun jam oh thing, and it took them like two weeks to patch it out. Jesus Christ. Uh, which was and there's also uh, problem. melee. There's also melee lunge animations, as I understand, that are just not getting fixed right now. That's a big There's, complaint from the PvP side of the community. Well, it's like the thing the thing that Halo has that not a lot of other shooters like COD doesn't have is a lot a much larger time to kill. So any netcode issues sure. are really pronounced when a fight goes on for a period of time. Mm-hmm. Getting killed really quickly in COD happens and if you're on a shitty ping, yeah. it's going to be harder, but it's the reality of playing on the internet. Mm-hmm. It happens in every game, but it's, it's, it's pronounced in Halo and people are, again, it's just like things to complain about. Yeah. There's have- not really any lunge with, a, with the punch, but sometimes it does because the, because the sync with the server yeah. is off. So, yeah, it's- Do you ever at this point wish that Bungie was still making Halo? No. Ooh. I think Destiny's mm. PvP is... Like dog shit. So yep. he's not wrong. Yep. He is not wrong. So no. But Ralph is going to play ten hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I only dabble in the PvP side of the game. Because it's not. Fun. It's not. It's good. just. Like, it's imbalanced. I, I, I and it's not only, designed. I will only do it when there's mayhem. Yeah, I think. I think. Yeah, the, yeah. I still think the core of Infinite is the probably the best Halo we've yeah. ever had. You mean like the core gameplay loop, yeah. like the sandbox of the of the. PvP I agree with that. I totally shooting. agree with that. And I was I, interested to hear. Like, because similar to your question, because I when I played Infinite, I was like, look, I don't think this is a particularly great Halo campaign, but this sandbox rules, yeah. right? Yeah. And then I was interested to know, like, when when co-op arrived, like, that is so perfect to make use of that, you know, enhance this incredible sandbox. Yeah. And I was just wondering if it elevates your overall view of this campaign now that you've experienced it in a co-op setting. Yeah, I think it it in the in the correct way for what this campaign is diminishes the importance of it to elevate the fun that you can have in the campaign by playing with friends i don't think it's a story that people are going to go like remember that in halo infinite <laughs> as right. people talk about key kind of story moments from sure. the original halo or maybe two or three but and the end of four even like it's not like three four three haven't done good halo story beats uh, but there's nothing particularly memorable about this. It kind of mm. just felt like the first open world Halo yep. and they put a campaign in it. And getting through it quick with friends, having fun is, I think, the best way to experience it for sure. Yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Avexia says that the uh, Destiny 2 multiplayer is the most fun he's ever had in a video game. Oh, my God. But I will what point out... Dude, you need to play some more video games. Oh <laughs> You've, like, uninstalled Destiny 2, like, three times this year alone. So <laughs> like we need to that is a standard that. Destiny... That's a real fan right there. You know he's an actual player if that is the case, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And, Pete, when you needed to get away from Destiny... Here we go. Some say escape. Halo or Destiny? Halo, Halo. The fucking that <laughs> Both. Yeah, yeah. Both. Uh, <laughs> <the segue. laughs> yeah, I escaped to the Academy. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I played through Escape Academy, which obviously we played the prologue, the demo on the show uh, probably a month ago now. It l- launched at the end of last week mm-hmm. uh, and is a an escape room puzzle game. Uh, with a narrative attached to uh, this school that's built to develop the world's greatest escapists. Yes. yes. Uh, it's a bit of a flimsy wrapper of a story, but there's some Are colorful they characters. Are supposed to be like, like if these people were captured by terrorists 
or a foreign <laughs> government they could get out or yes. are they just being trained to get out of escape rooms like that <laughs> sometimes pop up in the middle of Melbourne? They're definitely, like, there's definitely, once you leave the academy, you'll work for the government okay, escaping yeah. foreign governments. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, 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 good, good, good. But, but like, that old gov- story. But, but gov- <laughs> governments where they're like, all right, we're going to put you in a room with a clock that doesn't <laughs> work. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's seven books and seven <laughs> jugs. But <laughs> don't want to run by the bond couch villains because it's nailed yeah. to the ground. And yeah. Yeah. Nothing that a four-year-old couldn't lift is relevant <laughs> to the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, don't want to hold a magnifying glass to the story. But there's characters, there's some twist uh, and... Uh, and the design of all of the puzzles, the escape rooms, uh, are unique and tied to character and uh, great fun. Cool. We're going to play some tonight as well, yeah. uh, later on. <sighs> oh. I was just about to say, I think I fucking hate these games. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll find Should out. Should have said it at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Why did you wait? Yeah. I, think it's because, I think it's because, like... We've been doing escape rooms in video games for years in a more fun, mm-hmm. like, setting in, in and a, format. It, and but abstracted, where it's like, yeah. it's not Move these boxes room. to here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Totally. It's not literally you trapped in a box try and get out with by solving three puzzles that are mostly number-based. But, uh, you know, doing a real-life escape room is like... <laughs> bringing a video game world into real yeah, life yeah, yep, and that's yep, yep. what's fun about it. And this is now flipped it back and I'm like, I'm back in the video game, but less fun. It's Power Wash Simulator. It's like, it's just going <laughs> Everything out. is Power Wash Simulator when you break it when down. You, when you really get, down, you really get to <laughs> it. Halo is better off. Um, <laughs> it's dumb. I hear that these guys, the, the development team, were actually, they made... Escape rooms. Did, is it, did you guys tell me this? Uh, uh, no. No, but someone I've, else told me I've, this today. Uh, yeah. yeah. So they like when they made escape rooms and then they taught themselves game dev at the start of COVID because they're like, well, can't do escape rooms anymore. And then this is what they made. I don't know if that story is true or bullshit. I want that to but be it so sounds bad. cool I and I story. hope it's true. Yeah. I think I have rad. seen a lot of escape rooms actually list digital escape rooms on their website now. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, right. Well, the... Uh, Just like a, a lot of yoga studios are like virtual yoga. Yeah. <laughs> Watch a tape. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You invented VHS. Same, same price. <laughs> Workout. <laughs> exactly. Same price. Same, same price. price. $90 a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Fuck you, Surrey Hills. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, a video game can kill you where a real life escape room won't. Oh, yeah. So you're saying there's noxious more, gas more into, drama. Into the room. So there's right. drama in that sense. Uh, there's hyper real stuff like uh, AI and yeah. that kind of stuff. Um, so. It ultimately is a really nice little package, um, and I kind of did two at a time. They they kind of they, it tells you how difficult each one is and kind of gives you an estimated time. Actually, it gives you a you need to finish it in this time. They all have a time yeah, limit, time. Um, but uh, you kind of punch through a couple and take a break and yeah. Well, you finish the game and yep. you hate the game, so Ralph and I are going to enjoy Sweet. escape room. Yeah, okay, okay, perfect. Uh, good. And then uh, I'll just round this out very quickly because we've got an interview lined up. Um, uh, I played Trey. I played As Dust Falls. We know my opinions on those. The other video game adjacent thing that I did this week is I watched all, for some reason, of the Resident Evil Netflix series. Um, <gasps> Commander Zavala. <clears throat> tell me. Come on, yeah, the, yep. no, isn't he the best? He's the best. He's in all my favorite things. He is. The Wire. He is. One of my favorite Destiny. people, I think, that exists. Yeah, he's going to be in the in Horizon the show. World. Um, yes, Horizon. Yeah, he's um, so badass. Uh, so the um, fuck, what is the premise of this show? Um, <laughs> there is, there are two girls. There are sisters. They're twins. <clears throat> they are Zavala's daughters, and one of them, see, uh, one of them has anger issues. Where is this in relation to Mila Jovovich? Uh, she's not here. <laughs> so, like timeline yeah. wise. So it's a little hazy. I'm not like the biggest Resident Evil law person, but basically Umbrella Corporation has got a town in South Africa mm-hmm. um, where there's, they've got like a company town mm-hmm. and there's a school there. Zavala moves there with his kids and they go to school there. So they go to this We're very... We're just calling like, him Zavala. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. Yeah. Albert like, Wesker is now Zavala. Yeah. That's right. Zavala. All these Resident <laughs> Evil fans are like, can you stop that, please? Yeah. 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 Uh, in, and so, in Horizon, it was Zavala also. <laughs> right, right. And so, uh, yeah, Wesker, Wesker's moved there with his kids, but it's Zavala. Um, and they go to school there and it, it's following these two kids as they start to uncover what Umbrella is really up to. Uh, as the company. Mm-hmm. And um, like 
there's not really too much to spoil uh, because it's like they're just up to the evil shit that they're always sure. up to. Um, Liz is on it. 14 years after the deadly virus caused a blah, 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 blah. So it's 14, ya- 14 years post first Jovovich. So, well. There's, well, first it, game or first movie? Like, yeah. What's yeah. the canon source for because, the kids? Yeah. Because, because they're, it's, it's set in two time periods. There is the, the kid stuff. Or like teenage stuff, and then there's like oh. uh, twelve years later right. or something, and so that with the kids you stuff, pause there the, is a was the trailer there is a world, um, uh, what's the name we'll of the get... town? What's the Resident Evil town? Uh, Raccoon, yeah. City. Raccoon City. Raccoon City. There is a Raccoon City event um, that has happened, okay, and has been contained, and then that is known in the world. But then in the future, it is like zombies everywhere. Basically, everybody's dead. Everything's fucked up, um, and it's and it jumps between these two timelines of the girls when they're older and the girls when they're younger. So all this is to say, it's very dumb. It's so <laughs> fucking dumb. Like it's just so dumb. But I watched all of it, and there is something compelling about it because it knows it's dumb. I think it's just the right level of dumb. A lot of video game adaptations I have found are a bit like. Uh, fantasy adaptations where I start what like my thing with The Witcher is I was watching I was always watching The Witcher going I don't really know what the driving just really clear one line plot line here is it seems you're introducing a lot of characters and a lot of places season trying, one yeah yeah because yeah, season one was that kind of like anthology of stories though so that was kind of like reflective but, of but, the it, but it was also yes. very jumping around the timeline it was and, 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 and I feel like what it does it tries to introduce you to everything in this world as opposed to like something really simple. And this is real. this is really like follow the girls as they try to find out what is going on in that building right. and then stuff in the future. Jumping between the timelines happens a bit too much, I think, but it is compelling. It drives you forward. Lance Reddick is like very Zavala. He's very Zavala throughout. And I was like watching him and I'm like, oh, you really are just like comfort food. It's so nice seeing you. I love seeing you. <laughs> and that episode- Incredible diction. And then, very good. Well, that's the thing. I, Cause I was watching and I was like, it's impressive that he's made a career given that he only really plays himself. Correct. He's and kind of, he's gonna be he's gonna become the new James L. Jones, I think. Potentially. Mm. And then episode oh, yeah. seven comes along. And my boy is having a lot of fun. And there is suddenly like <laughs> acting happening oh, okay. with him. And okay. I was like, shit, I'm so into this. Or the other uh, person, there's a, a character named Evelyn, uh, Paula Nunez. She's like the main villain. She's having a blast. Right. She's totally chewing the scenery. This is, I played the, I was like playing games as I've got this up on my second monitor. It's totally that kind of show. It's very dumb, but I, I watched the whole thing and I was like, that was pretty like, that was good, and and that's right. And the last thing I will say about it is that I think it it really feels like a video game that's been turned into a show. There are things that happen in it where I'm like, this is the right level of stupid. That and you all know this is the right. This is stupid, and you carry and like particularly the Evelyn character is the main bagger. She's just like her plan is so ridiculous, but she's also <laughs> kind of like winkingly knows that it's really <laughs> ridiculous and is just like leaning into it. And it feels it feels like Capcom came in to a script that was very straight and when we're going to need these six things to happen <laughs> <laughs> and they just added added in madness so sure. yeah. resident evil stories are nothing if not stupid exactly <laughs> and it has and and it is a true resident evil story so there's many many worse ways you can spend 7 hours what are the life. what are the zombies like cuz i think the issue with the with the films that made them so particularly dumb well, they were dumb for a lot of reasons but it was like every movie it was like the zombies are here Mila Jovovich has more weird powers. No. But also, the zombie, the big, the, there's a mega zombie that has mutated and has more arms stuck onto him or something. Yeah, there's so, the, the zombie stuff is actually quite minimal. It's all mainly happening in the future. There's a few zombie swarm scenes. The last episode, the main, like, existential threat totally changes and you're like, well, what the fuck? Um, but most of it is actually, most of it is the more um, gu- uh, corporate conspiracy testing stuff oh, yeah, as opposed cool. to like it's not like a zombie movie as such yeah. it's more like an action movie with some zombie stuff but most of it is like that's cool we're in the that, facility that would make me want to watch it more because i just feel like i have zombie fatigue a little bit yeah but, it's um, like ra- like this rat is gonna eat this dog because we injected it with something it's sure. sort of shit. okay yeah. yeah anyway fun uh those are resident evil netflix series we also spoke about stray forza hot wheels power wash simulator powerpoint presentation simulator as dust falls <laughs> halo co-op escape thing. simulator 
And again, Resident Evil Netflix series. Uh, Destiny, s- don't leave Destiny out of that list. We oh, yeah, we, we complained about, about that Destiny. some. We complained about Destiny. Yeah, that's right. Destiny. <laughs> God bless you, Destiny. Uh, Solstice right now. Solstice. Yeah, that's right. Oh, is it really? Beautiful. Yes, do the same level I've over still, and over again. And again and again. Again and again and again. Love it. That's the thing. And they know you love it. They do. They do. Don't love that PvP. We'll be back after this short break with more Back Pocket. What'd you get? Rabbit food. Again? I think mine's still growing. What about you? Cat food. You blokes want anything from the shops? Bloody ripper. Bloody unreal. Oh, oh what the f is that? Oh, Struth, this tastes like John Howard's dick. And I'd know. I just threw it up in my mouth. I think it tasted better. Where's that cat food? Maybe that'll taste better. Oh, this is in worse taste than Academy Award winning actress Scarlett Johansson playing an Asian woman. Oh, where the f did these come from? Oh. Oh. Evil's Pie Boy, the worst Australian taste. If you had to craft vegetables into weaponry, which is the deadliest? Interesting. Mm. Interesting for multiple reasons. Here we mm-hmm. go. First of all, everyone's mind instantly goes to the vegetable that is the most deadliest yep. without said crafting. Oh, okay, so like... Eliminates it. <clears throat> so if you grab yourself a pineapple, if you go and put your hands on a couple of coconuts, yeah. those haven't been crafted. Huh? Fruit. <laughs> what? Pretty sure coconuts are fruit as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, the third issue is, I'd say, I'll stop you right there. That can't be crafted. I'll also stop you, as they are fruits, not vegetables. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Welcome back to the show and a big thank you to Evil Spy Boy uh, for the commercial there. Well, not thank you, thank us. We made it for you, you fucker. Uh, and then, uh, but a big thank Come you to Skiverick and Belly Kate who did make things to send in word from our sponsors. Thank you very much for those. I, look, listen, I have scanned the, po- the um, Patreon landscape. I'm pretty sure the benefits that you provide, the actual parody commercials that you provide are the greatest Patreon <laughs> benefit I've ever seen. <laughs> Across, the, I'm not fucking with you right it now. I'm is. being serious. That they, they are the greatest. You should see fun to make. Uh, Coastal City. What oh, uh, uh, we made a two and a half minute parody song of "We Built This City." Oh my god! And Coastal City. It is a full on '80s <laughs> recreation of the thing. <laughs> so I'm like. headbanging in double denim. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Well, thank you very much for that uh, coming from you. Shell up. <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> Pleasure. Um, uh, but of course, uh, speaking of shelling, Dream PC. If you want a PC. Uh, and if you are the kind of person that watches this show and right now is like, I need a computer. And also, I hope that Ralph doesn't have any existing computer sponsorships that this is going to conflict with. I'm yeah, because that would be bad well, if I have one laptop of us had sponsors. one of those. That would be bad, wouldn't it, It would be it, very Steph? awkward. Yeah, that would be really I have awkward. laptop sponsors, but no PC sponsors. So this is safe. Good. This I, is I safe. love Dream PC, by the way. I've just only heard of them then, but they've heard good things. Yeah, well, uh, they are the PC builders of your dreams. If you can dream it, they can build it as long as we, it is a computer. They can't build, you know, a space station. Well, who are you to say? Exactly. Have you asked them? 
Did you? He's Roots. probably in chat right now. Did you build a space station? I feel like that'd be very expensive, but it's probably possible. It's probably possible. You okay. throw enough money at a problem, it stops me a problem. It's just a f- expensive solution. Space station. I came That's up right. with that. Uh, it's, oh. just, it's just a space station. <laughs> <laughs> throw enough money at a problem, it just becomes a space station. Okay, shut up. We need to get through this. We've got a guest. <laughs> Pete, I said we needed this to be fast. Yep. Uh, easy to configure PCs via their website, bespoke systems that are built to order. They are an authorized Australian market parts seller and they give live updates via the build tracker. The build tracker is kind of like the Domino's thing. You can check on the. Just about to say that it's is like cool. The pizza thing. Yeah, yeah. Is it like like Deliveroo where it tells you like here's here's how close it's getting? It should be. Like, like, you've got five minutes to collect your, pe- your PC <laughs> from the front door. Right. Yeah, your, your driver left. Your driver right. left. Go on. Oh, Someone has stolen your PC. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you my pedophile story soon as well. It's a relation to that. That's exciting. probably not the best thing to splice into a sponsored block. But ah, like, they do. No, we'll no, no, come no, back to that later. This is a Patreon all the time. All the time. He's talking about that. Um, if you could dream it, they could build it. Get a new PC, dream PC. Head to go to dream. PC.com.au forward slash back pocket to find out more. Dream PC, you are the sponsor of our dreams. Okay, talking about dreams. Yeah. What if one day you woke up and you were like, I don't want to be a. Give me an occupation. Um, Power washer. Uh, Consultancy uh, person. Management consultant. I don't <laughs> want to work with PowerPoint anymore, except for when <laughs> I my thumbnails. thumbnails. Uh, I want to be a game dev. Well, you can be a game dev, just like James Benden became a de- game dev, and he's here with us right now. James, thank Hello. you very much for joining us. Uh, James is the developer, uh, I'm going to say one man band behind Dinkum. Am I correct on that? I, yeah, I, you can say that. I, 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 <laughs> is it I, factually? I, yeah, are you accurate? now just taking credit no. for a bunch of people's work <laughs> on camera? Uh, well, I didn't do the music. I didn't do, like, I got someone else. That's to do fair. The music. That's fair. Um, I couldn't do the music either. Uh, Dinkum uh, is uh, blowing up at the moment. This is a game that kind of, uh, like, I'm going to say came out of uh, nowhere for most people. I assume didn't come out of nowhere for you. I assume you've been working on it for a while and you didn't just wake up and suddenly had a video game. Um, <laughs> yes, but, that's how video games are made. Come perhaps on, part yeah, of life. yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. What devs do? Why does it take so long to bring exactly. a video game? Why are they all getting delayed all the time yeah. when it's that easy? <laughs> um, but uh, congratulations on the success of it uh, as well. You must be extremely chuffed. Yeah, I, I had no idea it was going to do so well. I, I anticipated to sell maybe this many copies in its whole lifetime, let alone <laughs> in the first week. Amazing. That's so awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, Thank here's you. Some, here's some footage of it. Um, f- from a kind of very surface level, Australia's own Animal Crossing, is this a fair assessment or is it a... It, what, what kind of were the inspirations you drew when, when you were developing? Uh, animal Crossing definitely is the first one, obviously. It, it's pretty hard to hide. But um, I started making this four years ago before the new Animal Crossing was even announced. And there are a lot of features I thought, oh, Animal Crossing could use this. And I added <laughs> it. And then, then New Horizons came out in the trailer and everything I thought, oh, I've got paths you can put down. Oh, I'm so happy with this. <laughs> but, I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do bastards. that you can't do in here. I know, they, they, they innovate. Nintendo, they take, they take a long time, but they innovate. Who would have thought? But they don't have gum trees. That's true. They don't have gum trees. No. Is this game jam-packed with spiders? That's my first question. Um, there are only a few spiders at the moment, and they're pretty much harmless. Okay. Oh, I was about to say. So, it's not, a re- so it's not a realistic Australian experience we're going for here. <laughs> yeah. We're going for... That's it's a more of a fairy tale existence. It's a friendly experience. <laughs> that's, right. that's, that's good, though. But we need to kind of sell false dreams to people, which I love. <laughs> and, and if you are building things, do you first need to go to Bunnings to get the supplies, or <laughs> is that the first stop here? Or That is? Okay, great. Fantastic. Love it. Love it. Yeah, well, it's... It's an out, it's an, uh, very similar to Bunnings. Love it. Yeah, love it. But the, you, the, the, the kind of setup is uh, we're in the, the, the future, a frozen apocalyptic future, and it's like get out of the big city. There's still some land out there that's, that's worth seeing, uh, and it is what Australia has become. Is it, that's the setup, right? Yeah, it's not, it's not necessarily our world. It, it, there's yeah. some other elements, but... It's a very Australian-inspired island that you can start building your little town on and um, settle in and then deal with the wildlife. So it's, it's a little bit more dangerous than Animal Crossing because, you know, crocodiles can come into your camp and start eating all your farm animals. Mm, fuck them up. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Don't say that in Animal Crossing. Uh, uh, never walk you should, a, though. Yeah, you should. You, you never walk into... What's his name? What's his, Tom uh, Nook. Tom Nook. You never walk into yeah. Tom Nook's place. It's like, give me a mortgage, cunt. <laughs> 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 um, how has the last week been? Because it came out a week ago today uh, in early access on Steam. Yeah, it's been... Oh, I've been very, very busy. I've... Um, I'm learning how to sleep again and um, <laughs> looking at a lot of emails, which is not as fun as developing. <laughs> well, you said to me, you said to me in the tech check, uh, you said, I guess I am a game developer now. <laughs> 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 Wait, what were you doing before? What were you, what doing, were you before? doing before this? So um, I got a degree in graphic design and il il illustration, um, but then I worked at a retail shop for about eight years. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, when I, my partner and I decided to move to New South Wales, um, I had some uh, money and I, I asked her, hey, can I try to do this? Because I've always just done this as a hobby. Yep. And um, she let me. I said, oh, it will take a year. But then it took <laughs> That's the lie we all tell ourselves and our partners. <laughs> tell her on the lie. <laughs> well, actually, I went back and looked at uh, like your... Your, I think it was the first tweet from your your Twitter account was the seventh of August in 2018. You said, and it's got kind of a jovial tone. Hey, I'm James. I'm making a game. Check it out at playdinkum <laughs> dot com. Sweet. Have you come through the last four years with that same same jovial uh, attitude, or how has it crushed you the last four <laughs> years? <laughs> learning what game dev truly is. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's it's tough. It's it's fun, but it, it's tough. Um, now that the game's out, that's that's a little bit more of a surprise. Like, it, there's a lot of like a lot of things to be happy about, a lot of things to be stressed about. But I, yeah, I can't believe that that little crappy tweet I did years ago <laughs> and it did this many copies sold. I'm just yeah, I'm absolutely stunned. It, yeah. it, it must like, be weird. No, sorry. It's Oh no! I was just going to say it must be weird and exciting as well to to release an indie game at a time when when Twitch exists and anyone can kind of pick it up mm. and play it and show it to their audience. So often I've been streaming on Twitch a, a random indie game and the dev has just popped up in the chat and is like, mm. "Hey, I made this. Yeah. Glad you're enjoying it." And True. that's that's actually a... me. I've <laughs> <laughs> every and that's yeah. such a cool thing to happen. Have you been doing that? Have you been jumping into Twitch and just yeah. kind of watching people play it and and kind of trying to sort of gauge their real time responses and and do you interact with them if that's the case? Yeah, yeah, I, I love it. I, I haven't had as much time since the game came out, but I sent out keys and everyone that was anyone that was streaming it, I, I would love to watch it. I'd, I'd drop in and say hello. I dropped into a few German people that um, I don't know if they could understand me, but I said thank you for playing. So happy to see they, you. they would. The, the, the Europeans speak better English than we do. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely would have yeah. understood. They definitely speak better English well, than Australians do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so you said that this was uh, you'd sort of done this as a hobby before this is the first released game correct that you've actually put out what what was yeah. what was some of the things that you were surprised by in terms of you didn't expect that this would be difficult and it totally kicked your ass or uh, yeah something that you came across where you went oh god i was not prepared for this uh one of the hardest things was to make it feel uh like one of the f parts of feedback I got was that, it, like, I needed to reward the player more, and I thought, well, I, I've I just gave them all the tools out of the gate. And one of the <laughs> things I, I mm. found out is like, oh no, if you just block them, then every time they unlock something, they feel, oh wow, I've done it, and then they can, you know, engage with a new aspect. So the game design was actually probably the hardest part. Yeah, right. Yeah, interesting. So cool. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, I, I, I thank you for, um, you hooked us up with the code as well. And I played a bit last night and it was very quickly the hooks of, uh, you know, the same feelings that you get playing an Animal Crossing game had me. I was like, immediately, as soon as I put the first tent down, I was like, now this needs to be my special mm -hmm. place and I'm going to do everything <laughs> I can to make it that. Uh, and, uh, there, there are rewards in like uh, completing little challenges and the feedback loop of it was really, really satisfying already. It's really feature rich already. Obviously it's just in early access. What is the, um, to you, what was the, the, the benefit of going into an early access? What does that afford you as a developer to go, I still want to do a whole bunch more work on this. 
it, it's not fully feature rich yet, but it is why release now and not wait six months or two more years or whenever you feel like you'll have it feature rich? Or was it that thing of like, if I don't release it now, I never will? Bit of both. And I, I, I wanted to see what parts of the game, like the community would engage with the most and like which parts I should be following. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, cool. Some of the earlier testers, uh, there's, I say testers, they're friends. But um, mm -hmm. they, <laughs> they, they know what they are. <laughs> the, end game, the end game need, needed uh, like a little bit more of a hook. And I, I'm really interested in, people are starting to get there now. People like, save files with 80 hours, that's, that's when I'm, I'm like, well, what can I do for you to keep you playing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You mentioned as well that you were playing Animal Crossing and you, and you noticed that there were a lot of features that you were like, it'd be really great if it had this, but then in an update, they added a lot of those ideas that, that you feel like well, you Well, the, the release of New Leaf, New Horizons, the most recent ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Game, yeah. Uh, did you feel like then you had a pressure to come up with new stuff to kind of add to the game? And did you find those kind of original things to add in there that you feel like set it apart from maybe some of the games you're inspired by? Apart from uh, I hope so. <laughs> I, I, it's, I think I wasn't really worried. It, like, there are elements. People have said that I've completely ripped it off when I, you know, did it by accident before them. But I'm not going to argue with those people. <laughs> no, you it. should take it you out should, right man. now. You absolutely yeah, definitely. should. Take yeah. the screen. Yeah. Don't take any shit, yeah. man. What you do you want? Name off. names. Come on, say it. <laughs> I, want, I want Twitter <laughs> handles. <laughs> but, um, I think... The game is more of like a, a survival, it's, it's survival light. So there, it's not, it's not quite like Animal Crossing and it doesn't run in real time either. Mm -hmm. I, I'm yeah. interested, <clears throat> have you noticed, Showed them. have you noticed that there's a different response? Well, obviously there will be, but what's the difference response that you get from Australians playing this versus international people? Mm -hmm. Because there's quite a idealism around what the Australian experience, like Australiana, and also exaggerations with regards to, hey, everything wants to kill you. Not really an exaggeration, by the way, but, <laughs> you know, whatever. What are your, like, how have you seen the different audiences respond to it? Um, I am surprised that so many of my copies have been sold in Australia. That, that's something that I didn't, because I, I thought it would, you know, kind of be like tourism for a lot of people, mm. and, like, that would be the appeal. But um, some people have said that it's not the, the characters don't talk Australian enough. I think they want to say <laughs> they want everyone to sound like it. Steve Irwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> yeah I, I, oh, I dis I disagree. I think it, like the touches of it are really like solid. They're good references, but it's not overwhelming or overbearing. Um, and I will say that the soundscape, like hearing a magpie, there's something about our, oh, our yeah. wildlife. Our the, birds. Yeah, totally. our birds just like paint the country. And so just hearing that was so satisfying for me. I'm sure any Australian would jump in. Nothing makes you feel more homesick when I'm overseas than weird foreign birds. Yeah, yeah. But the, I think also it's just that we're so starved for seeing our own landscape reflected in game design that it's like so refreshing and exciting to see that. Everything, and as much as I'm always banging on about how much I love fantasy games with European mm. stuff, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh man, there's something very comforting and familiar about it that I'm not used to seeing in a game. And I can imagine that would be the same way so for true. a lot of people. There's like that Broken Roads game coming. Do you know this one? Have you seen this yeah <clears throat> it's like a it's like a crpg yeah. set in the australian landscape it's like kind of um disco elysium meets australiana um australia i guess you should say not it's not really australiana it looks awesome i mean you realize that our landscape our what we've got here is pretty interesting inherently yeah. you know what i mean and if you sort of started to play around with it other than the whole mad max twist like there are other yeah. ways yeah. to explore well, our landscape than yeah. just that well, you know but when forza horizon 3 came out and we sure. saw red and yellow lid bins and it's like <laughs> oh my god they did it they know us <laughs> but, then, but then we were like the 12 apostles are too close together <laughs> <laughs> uh and james you were saying that um uh you were interested in, in releasing the game and seeing what players gravitated towards what have you found what are they more interested in playing in the game like what surprised you or or has uh, been what you expected in terms of what players are focusing on more uh well it turns out most players will focus on what makes the most money the quickest so mm. uh most people are obsessed with metal detecting in the game which <laughs> I, I those old people down at bondi kill. beach that come yeah. down there they're yeah. just yeah. like, yeah. like <laughs> well vasuvius in the chat the says beach. okay I've, I've bought dinkum i know what i like and what i like is collecting shit <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh, for me, it was, when I sold my first fish, 
for like three and a half grand. It was like a <laughs> big barra or something. I, I don't know what I sold. I sold a couple of things, but it was like it was the fish that was important. Uh, I've been fishing ever since. <laughs> and like there's so much depth to all of the little mechanics. Like the fishing system is way better than Animal Crossing. Take that, Animal Crossing. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, what, what were the kind of like, did you, did you find yourself having a lot of fun in particular things? Because again, there's so many systems in the game. Are there any that stand out to you that you're like, you're really proud of how you, for example, f catch a fish? Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of the fishing. Um, that, that was one of the things that, one of the first animals I put in the game. Well, I put the kangaroo in and then I put all the fish in. Yeah, no. and then it's just like Australia. That's that's basically all we have over here. <laughs> yeah. uh, I will say, uh, confused echidna in chat said um, that this game is the only way Australians can afford a house in this country, which is pretty bang on. <laughs> um, but then also said, holy heck, holy heck, it's less than thirty dollars on Steam. That's really cheap. Uh, Goth Martha Stewart says, I'm going to play the shit out of this tomorrow. Yeah. So it's in Steam early access at the moment. How much is it uh, on Steam right now? Uh, Twenty eight ninety. Five normally, 10% off that. Cool. Don't ask me. <laughs> and then, I can't and, remember. And then once it's out of early access, are you planning on console ports or putting it on the Switch or something? Yeah, I, I want to focus on finishing it first and then I'm going to look at porting it onto the, uh, the other you systems. Gonna, you going to do that yourself? I, mean, you I very yourself? much doubt I can. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's going to be rough. Because I mean, even just like, I mean, I hadn't, uh, to my sh great shame, I had not heard of this before yesterday actually when someone in my comment section was like dude why haven't you cut it dinkum i'm like well, i hadn't heard of dinkum what the fuck and then now that i'm seeing it i'm just like what the hell okay because like i mean i play a lot of indie games i speak to a lot of solo devs just from what i have seen like you built all of this on your own in four years yeah because that's a lot of video yeah. game to build in four years and i mean that comparatively like having seen other solo dev, dev games and spoken to other solo devs like how did you do that? Like, did you just not sleep for four years? Like, what's the deal? Like, because it just seems, again, I haven't played it yet, but it looks like so much video game for four years, solo work. Yeah, you know what I mean? did your partner agree to this because you guys are having relationship issues? <laughs> they were like, for oh, your well, break. if he can just stay in these rooms <laughs> right. for a couple of years, that that would be great. Hey, you did, we did get married uh, while, while I was developing and then we had a baby. So I hope it wasn't, you know, related. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, wow. That's incredible. What, what is the, what's the roadmap ahead? Like, do you, are you going to take some time to enjoy its early success or are you like head down in the work, working on, you know, the new features towards going gold? Uh, I've mostly been trying to catch up with the bugs that, uh, since the game came out. I've been very, very busy. And, you know, there's not a lot of bugs. Well, I think there's not, but there, there are a lot. <laughs> um, but it depends on what you call a bug. So some people will say, like, a spelling mistake's a bug, and some people will say, you know, uh, my, you know, my friend blew up the helicopter and the helicopter disappeared is a bug, which, you know, it is. <laughs> That's um, oh, fair enough. The, the, the standard has been set tonight on the show. Don't tell me about my spelling errors. That's it's right. a colloquialism. Yeah. That's just how we sell yeah. spell it over Yeah, totally. Yeah. If it doesn't blow up and disappear, I don't want to hear about it. Uh, well, James, congratulations on the success of Dinkum. Again, you can find it on Steam uh, in early access at the moment. Uh, I'm so happy for you uh, that it's blown up so much. I think we can. Uh, I can sense the shell shock that you're still kind of in. Uh, so I think yes. that you've had a baby. This is that post baby shell shock of well of like, oh my God, my life is now totally different. Uh, as you said during the tech chat with Pete, you are a game designer now. So congratulations uh, and we wish you every success in the future. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me guys. Thanks Thank mate. So much Take time, it easy. Man. See you man. Good luck. Isn't it funny how people are so obsessive over fishing mechanics in games in particular? <gasps> yeah. What it's, is it about? It's a thing. It's a thing. I, I remember when Sea of Thieves had been out for a couple of years and they were like, we, keep, we, we just want to keep iterating on this amazing game and bring more cool pirate action for you to take like to the next level. And people were just like, fishing, fishing, <laughs> fishing. So and they're like, fine, we finally added fishing. And we're all like, yay! Same with Final Fantasy. <laughs> with uh, Warframe, I remember when they added fishing. Uh, I remember Guild Wars, they just recently added fishing. I can't believe there was an MMO that's existed for like 
over a decade and it hasn't had fishing. Yeah, what the fuck? Have yeah. Fishing in Guild Wars? That's what I said. But they just added it with these weird boat expedition things that you go on, Somebody and now you can Guild fish in Guild Wars, Wars too. Like, we're not fucking doing it. Fuck. No, that's right. We're striking. Yeah. yeah. Boom. We're out. And that's it. Do you it. think? I have nothing to back this up, and I don't even know if I believe it. Mm. <laughs> Do you think it's perfect like, premise? Like, perfect yeah, yeah, setup. Let's go. There's something about it's almost like non-violent shooting. <laughs> like mechanically, mechanically the way, like the intro, because it is, you're right, that it is a thing. People love fishing in video games. Mm. And there's something about like aiming for the thing, mm. the perfect cast. There's an element of chance. It, the, there. There's like the headshot is like, you feel the tug and you like pull it back and then there's this like back and forth little battle. Like it's, it's like a little fight game yeah. built into... Come on, Ralph. Work with me here. <laughs> oh, you're right. Absolutely. It's like shooting. It is things. like shooting. It's the same as shooting a gun. <laughs> I would say. Like pal. I would say you're completely you know what I'm wrong. To say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> in, that, in that, the satisfaction of a sh of shooting in a game is a is a reflex uh, skill that that's enjoyable because it's a reflex thing. Yep. And the enjoyment of most good fishing mechanics in video games yep. is that they're a series of it's game uh, in a game. mini games. It's game in a game. It's game in a game. And it's it's mastering a new little system that yeah. is like perseverance as opposed to reflex it's over. Yeah. It's like, can I can I best the fish? Yeah. And yet Call of Duty is called COD. And so <laughs> you I was hoping you were just inhaling to like move past that point really fast. I, <laughs> I guess historically there's like a romantic idea about fishing as well in real life that no one really actually wants to actively participate in unless <laughs> no one. Well, what? No one wants okay, listen, I don't like fishing, but that is not true. true. Some people live I mean, for like, fishing. Al no one I mean, Rex Hunt used to make make out with fish every day. That was so true. Thing, you know what yeah, I mean? Oh, so our, so people, our people. Our people. Our people. Our gamers. Except that there, like, there is that you know that girl who streams the Australian streamer who she streams herself fishing. Yeah, I can't remember. What? I can't believe yeah, I can't remember sick. her she name. Goes right. on, that like, is cool. She goes out and awesome. just like wharfs. I know and, that, like, that, sets that up every a, now and again yeah. I would tune. I don't know. There would be a Splucy. 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 That is that was all about fishing on, and yeah. I just don't understand it. But at the same time, I was like, I understand that there's a, a culture around yeah, yeah. that people romanticize, yeah, yeah, and to yeah, be able yeah. to do that in a game. Yeah. Um, there's something yeah, in that totally, as well. Totally. But it's funny because there's a lot of just different systems and mechanics in survival and farming games that could be amazing, but fishing is the one by far that people just go so nuts off. over. That's so yeah, true. Yeah. That's true. Um, uh, just being in Warframe, uh, Souls, Soul Frame. Yeah. Soul Frame. Mm. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm really excited well, in the sense that, like, because I played a lot of Warframe back in the day. I remember. In particular when Destiny sucked because <laughs> Destiny 2 launched and it basically, like, ruined Destiny. And then at that point, I was like, well, I've got to play something else. So then I found Warframe. and But after a while, like I just generally moved away from Warframe mm -hmm. for a number of reasons. And also because I feel like Destiny began to like service that need better. Yep. Yep. Yeah, um, but that team of people, um, I've spent some time with them, the Digital Exchange team. They are an amazing team of people, like incredibly passionate, talented, awesome. And I was always in the back of my mind thinking, I'm like, well... I would really like to see you guys try something else yeah. because there's so much in you that you can give and you're really just putting it into n bolting on new systems to Warframe that kind of make it more awkward and bloated but don't necessarily like, make it a better yeah, overall yeah. game. And, and also I mean? it's like, it's big, but it's still a niche game. And so it's like, sure. you're just servicing the niche more and totally. more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I was very ready to see them flex that creative muscle, step into something else. They've tried recently or a few years back something called The Amazing Eternals. That was a hero shooter at the time when hero shooters were a thing, but also when that like cr over the crest mm. kind of thing. And they yep. were like, they canceled that before it got released. There was, I, I tested that briefly when it was in early access. This is their next big swing. And it's actually like, the, you know, some of their, the, the former head of Warframe, Steve Sinclair, yeah. he's moved over to lead up that project. Totally. So have a number of other um, of the senior team from Warframe. Um, and I'm really excited to see what they do with that. Really, very, very keen. Me too. And Steph, you, you might not be aware of it. It's a fantasy yes. approach to the Warframe model. Well, I don't know. You don't reckon there's going to be oh, any well, Warframe-ness? I'm sure there will be, but I, yeah. but I would, I'm reluctant. Well, I don't know yet, but in the sense that I don't think we should just assume it's Warframe, but fantasy. Yeah, okay. Because they have said it's an MMORPG, which sometimes Warframe is described as that, sure, but yeah. not really. I don't know. I, I think 
we can definitely expect some of it to carry over, but I really do believe that they'll probably try and flex a lot more muscle than just like, hey, Warframe, but with more swords, <laughs> yeah. or like more melee. All we know yeah. is there's a lot of ass in it. There was a lot of bare cheek in that trailer. There was. There was, was right. more ass than I was expecting. That was great. Um, uh, uh, but all <laughs> gender bare cheek? It was just man. It was, it was just, just a naked man in a was, pond. That's yeah. right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like Ghost of Tsushima, the little thing where he gets his kid off to get into the hot tub thing. Oh, yeah. But like yeah. a whole trailer based on that, essentially. Right. It is interesting. Right, that well, it's it it's basically <laughs> it is the fact that they say like saying soul yeah and frame I know they basically yeah. named their game after like two sub genres yeah. of games not a great name to and it's a yeah. it's just it's like it's almost like they might come out and go that was the code name and this is the name of the game yeah. like it's actually a stranding game <laughs> yeah well, it's like a frame game is it's a frame like <laughs> sure. or like yeah frame yeah it's like. very interesting because like <laughs> i do like feel God like for. saying something <laughs> calling something soul just feels like it's you've loaded it with something now and you've loaded it with frame so i'm like in my head it's like i could put in different units of dark soul weirdness <laughs> and load up my weirdness and go out into the world yeah yep. yeah very yep. interesting though but i am um, keen i think it's going to be interesting to see them do that and wish them all the best and yeah. also reb ford who was the community manager for warframe is now the head honcho of warframe she's the creative director of the of the game now so was she, she the one who was doing all the like she's the face of warframe, face of warframe. Yeah, she yeah. is now so she's moved she started as like a junior burger and she community did manager the, their videos like they've Everything, and Holy she's just shit. worked there the entire time, risen through the wow. ranks, leads that comm dev team, who, and they do fantastic work, built an incredible community, and then she became like part of the senior leadership of the game, and now she's taken over leadership of the game. She's that is the incredible. Director. It's nuts. Fantastic. That's like modern day mailroom to CEO story. because yeah, yeah, insane. Uh, okay, cool. We're going to take a short uh, break, and we're going to come back with a game that Steph hates. Stick around. <laughs> Richardson, and even though I claim to hate anime, I can't wait to tell you all about which barely pornographic video game I'm playing this week, but I can't do that alone. I'm joined by... It's Bryce. I'm here wearing my new Valheim t-shirt. I streamed Destiny last night. Avexia killed me twice, and I'm just happy to be here with my friend. And next to me... Is James, and I'm really happy that I woke up with a recovered wrist from last night. Uh, what? Excuse me? I was drawing, guys. What do you think I was doing? Oh. Um, right, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Go away. Shorts, they're summer's pants. From cargoes to cutoffs, Bermuda to board shorts, when you want to show off the fourth worst part of the human body, wear Oranishi shorts. Every pair of Oranishis are single origin, fair trade, and handmade by this lonely, overworked child robot with hands. The process couldn't be simpler. We start by asking for your measurements. Then, in the spirit of fairness, we send you our measurements. Our robot will send you fabric samples of six kinds of thick denim, we then make a full pair of jeans. After sending you a picture of us wearing the jeans and looking fit, we surgically remove the excess pant and voila, you've got yourself a pair of original Oranishis. And to ensure there's no wastage and a dolphin doesn't choke on them or something, we take those discarded leg bits and use them in our latest product, Oranis sleeves. Oranis sleeves for when you accidentally bought a singlet. So don't settle for sweaty knee pits. Order your Oranishis today. They're the only shorts you'll ever or a need. Game plan. Let's frickin' go. Narrative choice game as dusk falls on PC and Xbox will see you making probably bad choices, but it supports up to eight player co-op, so you can just blame it on your friends. This is a cat. You can play as one in Stray on PlayStation and PC. Except not this cat, because all he does is eat and sleep, and that would make for a pretty boring video game. 
Swing a sword and face your creator and fallen angel for the switch. Endling extinction is forever. Dark. Sees you as a mama fox trying to protect her cubs. Be a tomb star in the space western roguelike shooter for PC. Action FPS bright memory infinite for PS5, Xbox series and Switch was made by one dude in his spare time. In my spare time I grind pinnacles and destiny. Am I wasting my life? Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2 Remastered is coming to console and PC. Post Void on PlayStation Switch is not for you if you have issues with strobing. <laughs> if you like light-based puzzles, Host Light on PC could turn you on. And Capcom Arcade Second Stadium brings an additional 32 arcade classics to console and PC so you don't have to pirate them anymore. Hey, look, I'm done. Now it's your turn to tell me what you're playing in the comments. <laughs> They didn't pay us, but we're going to shout them out anyway. Is there a better um, biscuit than the mid slice? Because yes. they say it's the Tim Tam, but I don't oh, know. Oh, your mic is way up there. <laughs> well spotted. Mint slice. That's like classic this... Bendix and Blunt. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. yeah okay. is... How do you feel about Monte Carlo's? I'm a huge fan. We're on this camera, are we? Yeah, I knew that. I'm, I'm a professional. I'm just... I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Monty sorry. Carlo's. Okay. My dad loved Monte Carlo's. They're great. are just fucking so shit. They're like the biscuit to cream so ratio. So off. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I was going to say, Pete just tapped me. He's, 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 tapped me. he's like, oh, no, this is a Monte Carlo couch over here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We'll hear the criticism. But when, have you ever been, when have you ever been like, mm, let's get a packet of Monte Carlo's? I'll tell you Monte what, Monte Carlo's creams, fucking slap. Monte Carlo's go first. That's true, they Monte do. Monte Carlo's yep. Kingston's are gone. No, no yep. so, yeah. Mon no, 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 Mo you're wrong. Monte Carlo's are amazing. <laughs> I thought you were talking, what's the one, what's the one that's just covered in chocolate? Like, it's like a Monte Carlo. Oh, I know that one you're talking about. Yeah, oh, it's uh, a, a, a crown, a crown Monte. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's it called? What is Full it? Monte. No, what's it Montero? called? Montero? chat would know. It's the it's one. A, it's in the yeah, black yeah. packet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's that one. That's come on. A, no, come it's on. Kingston. It's, like Kingston. it's like... It's are they just a, called chocolate Monty's? No. No. Chocolate no. Monty, maybe? Fuck, I know what, what you're called? talking about. It's like a chocolate mm. caramel... Wait, holy shit. We just got raided by Sploosie. Holy what? Oh my god. What? The fishing. The this fishing. Is amazing. The fishing. No. Did she know? Did she know? Was she watching? Did someone tell her? Did someone tell Sploosie that we were talking about Nothing her? It's random. What Everything is random. Everything is chances. Everything is A royal. Thank you. It's a, a, royal. a crown? A royal? No, I don't I think, think it's it is called a royal. No, uh, take the click back. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> Fuck. What was it? Sploosie, what is the name of the biscuit? Yeah. It's like if you took a Monte Carlo and got rid of the good bits and just left the biscuit and then wrapped it in chocolate. Like, it's like a, that's an incredible. Like a no. um, that's very. That's, a, that's what it is. That's isn't a it? circular yes. shit, Tim Tam. <laughs> and Lucy, while you're at it, can you tell me the size of the largest brim you've it's ever seen? It's just a Monty. <sighs> is it? Is it's it? just a Monty. Maybe that's what? why I was. I'm going to Google it. Yeah. Now, I'm, unless we get this sorted, it's going to piss me maybe off. Maybe you're Yeah, maybe it's. Also, right. also, while we're doing this. Uh, Monty. Oh my God, it is. It's just a Monty. It's just called a Monty. So a Monty Carlo. It is a Monty. So, so it's cut. The Carlo is Carlo <laughs> <laughs> That's a this is amazing. I'm so glad I came tonight. Uh, this is this is big. We've this learned a revelation. Much. Does Carlo mean Chris? <laughs> <laughs> <Does> it... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, also, Sploosie, back me up here. Uh, fishing's just like Call of Duty, right? Okay, so uh, we're going to move on now. Thank you very much for the raid, Sploosie. Uh, I think someone must have told you that we were talking about you. And talking about you, we were and saying how good your streams are. Uh, okay. No, we manifested her. Oh, okay, that's, that's good. Through right. the that's power right. of yeah. thought and intention. Well, someone said Beetlejuice. I was thinking Candyman. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah, true. Yeah. Okay, uh, and 
Oh, what the fuck was I'm that? I'm sorry, I dropped one. Oh, it, it felt like the whole packet. Jeez, it felt like no, it felt like lag. it felt like thirty frogs jumping. Oh, I was oh, so angry because I made you pick them up on the way from the station. It's true, and you already have. I like this rug, by the way, very classy. Chet can't see, it, isn't it? Isn't you it can so, see it in the wide. Look at that. Oh, you can. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, a classy yeah. ass. Because otherwise, in the wide, it's just the hessian, and it's like it's not. That's what we're known for in back pocket. Being classy. It's very classy. Yeah, we're classy. Classy. I was like, cunt in the interview before. That poor man. He was a front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he knows. But Come that's, on. That's his interview technique. He likes to throw people off yeah, guard yeah, by yeah. saying yeah. cunt as often as possible. It's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. when you interviewed. That's why Kerry uh, O'Brien was such a good interviewer. <laughs> 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 <Sorry. laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <Sorry. laughs> he was so effective in that role. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace. He's still alive, isn't he? I think he's still alive. <laughs> he's still alive. <laughs> he's still kicking. That's right. Yeah, right. What interview were you talking about? No, I mean, that was a better joke. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Yep, no, great. All right. Move on. Now it's time for bringing it up. I had to say I had a joke bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you you did great. All right, okay. You did wonderfully. I'll tell you, you did bad. No, I'll tell you why, though. I thought you were going to tell a fun anecdote about me. <laughs> All right, it's time for our next segment. It's very good gameplay. Oh, very good oh. gameplay. Presented by Reese Wild. Get wild. Shit. Remember what I said about Reese? How every uh, every yeah. time I did very good gameplay, I got Reese to send me a list of wild things that he's oh, done in his yes. life. We all remember oh, that. Okay. Do you? And the first one was that he has done uh, that we did last week. He's done a 360 front flip on a snowboard. And we said we had to see pics, or it was it couldn't be true. And then he sent pictures, oh. but one of them, like, oh, can God you tell who shit. the fuck that is at the top? You, that could be it. No. That's, that's that could Reece be anyone. Wild. That, that could be anyone. That's Wild. That could be. I have no that idea. That could be. The, the spiky hand. Yeah. It's, it's an honest system around here. Are you here. being paid by <laughs> right, Big by Wild right now? <laughs> big, are you at the pocket, of big, pocket of big Wild? Uh, <laughs> that's his porn name. Yeah. <laughs> big, <laughs> big Wild. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's uh, well, the number two crazy thing he's done is porn under the name Big Wild. Oh, no, unbelievable. Beetlejuice. The number two crazy... Stop manifesting things, back pocket. The number two crazy thing Reese Wilde has done in his life. He's done a backflip. So a lot of this is flipping. He's done a backflip on a kneeboard. <laughs> this is so shit. <laughs> well, well, you can do a backflip. That's one thing. Well, you're going to hate next week as well. <laughs> How many, how many flips are in there? One, what? two, do three. Do a flip. Nine flip. Do a flip. Do jump, do jumps count as a flip? Yeah, jumps count as flips. Four, and five. That is body physically leaving the surface of the earth. And doing, and doing a rotation. Anything. And then coming back down. There's five. It's all the same thing. Eight's, eight's a fucking banger. Okay, good. Eight's a banger. Looking for eight. Do you want me to tell you eight now? Right, we need it. And then Otherwise he can send I won't me a new one. Here. Otherwise you won't I'll be here. It. Eight. eight, he's been... One kilometer underground, <laughs> facing a wall of three hundred thousand dollars worth of gold, oh, and that's cool. he loves rock. He did a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> that's backflip worthy, though. That's backflip worthy. Is it three hundred thousand dollars worth of gold? Like. This much gold? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I said that's wall. true. It sounds like a. <laughs> yeah, wall. It sounds like a wall of gold, but it's actually like what you stood in front of was a wall of stone. Yep. That yeah. shimmered a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, anyway, I'm glad that we've really ripped him a new asshole uh, in this one. <laughs> Thank you for your support, Reese. Yeah, for your constant money. Okay. Uh, I think he's going to come say hi next week. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, good. This is one of the mountain folk. <laughs> he's going to be like bushwalking with you and just do a backflip all of a sudden. Stop fucking... doing that. He better. We're, going, we're trying to have a nice walk. Yeah, but he's going to come up with new things for the list now. <laughs> That's so right. as well. So true. <laughs> Number 11 did a backflip. Backflip in front of Steph. In front of Steph Mendix. <laughs> Amazing. I'll okay, film cool. it. I'll film yeah, good. Uh, okay, so we're going to play a video game. That video game is called Escape Academy. We played a bit before. We're going to play some now because, uh, uh, well, one of us enjoyed it. I might think it's a good, good time. You enjoyed it at the time. Or was no, that it was lot? Jess. That was Jess. Oh, my God. <laughs> Am I that Jess. interchangeable? <laughs> wow. I wasn't even here. I'm so wow. sorry. Uh, <laughs> well, Gus loved it, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm Gus's replacement today, so. Uh, okay, that. I'm going to go solo. Pete, I'm going chapter one. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I am. Okay. I like this because we can just <laughs> critique what you're doing. I like well, this. I think we don't we actually should play collaborate. It. Oh, why well, was you really want to play with me and be snarky? No, because you know all the and yeah, then yeah. you'll make fun of me. You'll be like, "How have you not got this yet?" It's yeah, obviously fucking, this. You, the Monty Carlo. That sounds like a shit pairing. Yeah, someone in the in the chat um, said that there was a fun <laughs> escape room in Brisbane that we should try out, and we did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. We did. Called Fox in a Box. Fox in a Box. And there was some, can I say spectacular acting involved? Yeah. Oh, really? We did a room yeah. with 
Matt. Preston. Oh, that's a good question. I think it was Matt. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Matt, because it what that wasn't the pocketeer that recommended us to Fox in a Box, but it was the pocketeer that was uh sh was guiding us through the escape. It was Connor room. that mm. recommended that we go. Connor. Yeah. And um, Super and Studios. So, right there. Yeah. Hi. Um, and so he was playing uh, Nikola Tesla. Oh, lovely. Oh, the accent. Was sweet. Very, yes, but it was yeah. very But it well. slipped a little. <laughs> did he? <laughs> was he, he said cunt. <laughs> he did. <laughs> like, you're not the real <laughs> Nikola <laughs> Tesla. Hang on a minute. <laughs> that Switch was it on, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first puzzle. So, <laughs> is this Tesla? <laughs> I don't think it was. Uh, I think that's more Bowie. Than <laughs> it was great. The acting made it. Would return to that. Would return to that escape room um, for the acting alone. Yeah. Okay. Am I in the right bit? Mm. So the ga as I was saying in what we've been playing, you kind of you interact with characters throughout the whole thing, yeah. And they have puzzles that are kind of attached to their story. So it's the only real way you learn anything about the characters is that you do a puzzle that is like to do with things that are of their interest. Yeah, right. And so it ties back to them. It's a nice way to just tie it into them when because you don't want a bunch of exposition. There's never a conversation that goes more than like ten frames of text like this. The, so the layout of what I'm looking at looks like a dating sim, and I mm. yeah. want to date her. Totally. Mm. And just based on the overalls alone, she's she's like she's arty. She probably does yep. pottery. Yeah. She's like a little totally. bit freaky. Maybe. Maybe. She's got that sentient I'll, television. I'll, I'll, I will tell you, she used to uh, manufacture bombs. Uh, bongs or bombs? bombs? Oh, okay. B-O-M-B-S. Okay. She's yeah. becoming less attractive to yeah. me now. No, no, that's <laughs> but, ten times sexier. Yeah, yeah. but uh, she has uh, since ha like found an affection for tea and is now trying to brew interesting teas. Oh, okay. So wow, she's using her character. alchemy. Real, her an about face. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. She's she's like, I, just didn't, I didn't want to be in the bomb business anymore. <laughs> well, she's still using the alchemical skills of manufacturing yeah, 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 yeah. weapons. Yeah. Does the company too. have a cool bomb name, like a play, like a play on yeah, words that has a bomb, bomb in bag. It. <laughs> yeah, dunk the bomb bag. English right. bomb first. Anyway, did you call your character Quanti? No, Quanti is the computer. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I don't think you have a name. Oh, okay. Uh, the carry the Quanti got wheeled in before. A nice cup of tea just really makes me feel nourished. What about you? What makes you feel fulfilled? Yeah. <laughs> My purpose to be will be fulfilled with. You're already feeling that. I was. Yeah. I knew it. As I've, soon as I read that, I'm like, <laughs> they're gonna make a joke, aren't they? I've, I've, <laughs> Straight I've, away. I've planted the seed in your brain. <laughs> You've been here right. Oh, you right. Think about. Yeah. Two hours is too much. <laughs> how can we date her? How can we like? How can we brute force this game into being a dating? Why sim? is it there should be a dating sim meets escape room, right? That that should be a that's a that's oh, a big oh, concept that's going to make a, a billion one. dollars. I mean, they're oh. making a dating sim out of Dead by Daylight. Because so. oh, like anything. Mm, you know true. what? It's so like potentially sexy BDSM. Oh, that's yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is it's like so you're trying true. to escape, but so then it's like, no. do you but want do to escape? <laughs> Not really. Not Either really. really. Not really. Want, never. Never. But indie but, devs out there are like, "Fuck, man, get yeah. this down." You know. But <laughs> I want. I want. James is putting bondage and dinkum right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Animal Crossing didn't have. Nintendo won't copy that one, will they? And then right. Nintendo put out an update. <laughs> yeah, that's and it's right. Like, come <laughs> fuck <laughs> Nook. <laughs> Tom Nook Strap him takes down. his takes his price from you finally. Oh, you know, peg fuck. Nook. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, uh... Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Peg Nook, is that where you... We got the... Yeah, yeah. That's um, we should probably leave it. <laughs> okay, do we want to go to the Thresher or the Hall of Escapists? Yeah, the Thresher. The Thresher, the thresher? Right? yep. The thresher it sounds sound cool. Yeah, I'm ready. Like a banger. Who's this? Who's this guy? Under pressure, time limit. Okay, cool. This is it, Pete. We go here? Yep. Start. <clears throat> Uh, to you again, glad to hear you're getting your bearings. God, he's fucking huge. Look he's at that hand. Me. You could peg me with the thumb. Uh, you caught me in the middle of a little maintenance. This is a special room designed by the late <coughs> Eel Barnes, the greatest escapist to ever walk these halls. It's only meant for the Academy's most advanced students. They don't call it the Thresher for nothing. So what is the Academy preparing you for? We again, about this. Yeah. a life of government work. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Spreadsheets, uh, PowerPoints. That's right. No, don't look too closely <laughs> at it, but it's you're just becoming like a, a government spy. Uh, James Bond training. Yeah, it's James, it's James Bond training, assuming that uh, the Russians are going to put you in an escape room when they're about to interrogate you. Sounds like a sex thing. It's <laughs> i got to head up to the observation room to grab some more duct tape. <laughs> Left Scallon just said pegging. You mind checking that water grate for me while I'm gone? I deactivated the room so it should be safe. Back in the GIF. Oh, that room's going to activate like a motherfucker. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We're going to walk in. Don't touch anything. Quick, touch something. I'm going to touch it all. I know. I stood there for like eight minutes. Like, <laughs> what, I what happens away, now? I made a cup of tea. Yep. Like, I came back. Nothing. Okay, the nails are loose, but I can't pull them off with my hand. 
hands. Okay, that's my inventory, Pete. Yes. Open this. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Padlock. I need a key. Rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. Keyhole killer. Oh my god. Yes. Police puzzled. <clears throat> I can't duck out of this mess even. Oh no. Oh, no, no, god. no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, this is. Is this a, like a little wooden box or is this like, like a top of a you printer? Use your, yeah, right thumb. Oh, right yeah. thumb is very. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Wait, what the hell? Just oh god, the water is coming in. Limit. Hurry up! The time limit. We're gonna drown. That's filling I'm up gonna... really fast. Use the key on the keep on, on the, the on the lock. Do it. Yeah. That's gotta be it, right? Okay, and then yes. Oh. Should I pull a switch while I'm standing in water? I yeah, it's it's, it's deactivating the thing, right? Is it? What's oh. handprint? Hand Phasmophobia. <laughs> it's a gin. <laughs> it's a it's a gin. <laughs> uh, clip his hand. Oh my god, screwdriver. That water's still coming up. Yep, I think it is. Okay, so um, this. Uh, you can remove that board now because you've got a. Oh, good yep, call. Yep, it gone, the board. The nails are loose. It's dark. Why is it gone? Got genius over here. I was like, fucking Pete's staying quiet. I forgot he knows how to do this. <laughs> fear. Yeah. That's we all helpful. fear water. And what's that little thing there? What's that about? Can you click on it? No, you no can't there's anything. nothing. We've got four minutes. Weird apostrophe. How, how do I get. Around the room more. Oh, shit. Oh, that hit was the hint. hint. Yeah, you hit. Oh, okay. I want that. I wanted that. Uh, yeah. Can I interact? No, okay, okay. Uh, what else uh, we got? Else? The ducky, can the ducky do anything now that the water is out there? Yeah, no. No, no. Uh, the Red duck's herring. useless. Red herring. Duck sucks. You you have... Is there something in that yellow thing? Blow in the duck, duck paint! Paint. <laughs> okay, so that's where they wrote the word fear. Yeah. Okay. You have the information you need to leave this part of the room. Oh, it's this. We just write fear here. <gasps> oh, yeah, okay. Like okay. texting. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F. Oh, oh. Shit. okay. We have to the, turn on that, that the lever. Turn it back on, I guess. Okay. Is that so, right? Yep. F E A R. Let's go. Amazing. All right. Nice. Amazing. Wait, is that a bullet hole? What the fuck happened in here? <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Spy shit. All right. <laughs> Okay, so the water is still okay. rising. How come everything's blue now? What's this blue tint? Take one floor at a time. Toolbox. Okay. Toolbox, uninteractable. Okay, what do we got here? So <laughs> the we got clock is just getting two high. Two valve turn. Fuck, that happened first. And a door. Uh, yellow is odd. No valve be set. No valve should be set to five. Red is double yellow. Oh, I hate these things. I, I hate that so them. much. Okay, so, okay, so what's the the easiest one is no valve should be set to five. Success. So. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I beat the game. Uh, uh, red is double yellow. So yellow is could odd. Be two. Okay, so yellow can be one. Double yellow would be uh, two. red would be two. Unlikely. So maybe try three, and then can you do six on the yeah. yellow, on the red? Sorry. And nothing should be set to five. Is that and use item something's, something's missing. missing. Okay. Uh, okay. So we need, a we need another. We need, we need another, another, another one yeah, of those. Yep. Another okay. Spinny. The spinny bomb. Go back. Is there a padlock there? Can't untie this rope by hand, but I can untie it with a screwdriver. With the clippers, clippers, clippers. With the clippers. Got it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Um, Got the energy. <laughs> it's yeah. Stressing me out. Uh, <laughs> uh, how do I open up items? Oh, this, this is like PTSD yeah. for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my, my office. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so true. No wonder I'm reacting this way. Yeah. I was like, what's she talking? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. My office flooded. That was, am I there? My Pain. office flooded. It How the fun. fuck do I... Oh, wait, do I need... You to just inspect this? the item that, and then it asks you... Inspect the wall? Yeah, I did. No, inspect... Ins yeah, all right. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inspect it? Wait, so inspect? Uh, and then... Oh, it keeps bringing oh, up. Oh, maybe I need to. Maybe I need to click on this. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it go. keeps bringing up the mouse and keyboard on that computer. There we go. Yeah, it's super nice. fucking annoying. It's Home. bugged. Yeah, it's that computer. This, yeah, the mouse and keyboard keep active. Yeah. Okay, so oh, that's tr that's correct. And nothing can be Double set, that. so I can just spin this. Maybe. Here we go. We did it. Nice. Can we clip that or? That's uh, that <coughs> so annoying that it starts on the side there yep. every time. Oh, there's a key. Wasn't there like a padlock in the middle of that room back there? Mm. Oh, was there? I yes, think so. I Did think I, I see saw, it? I yeah, there I it is. It was two. Hand down. Boy, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no signal. Okay, so. Okay, so that's where we are now. Okay, cool. Um, can you look at the handicap? Can you inspect it, like in your inventory? 
can you play it? View handicam? Can you spin it around? Nah, I can't do anything. No. Uh, okay. <coughs> what is uh, no signal? So the so sig that handicam would obviously be need to be plugged into the television to get a signal, and it will show you something. Can you go out to the television? If there's some cables. They're like, a, like inspect, no signal. Signal. It's like a cable you can plug it into somewhere. No, but I can't really. Uh, I will say that logic path is. Uh, too logical. This oh, okay, voice right. is coming yeah. over the PA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys need a hint? Didn't even see. Do you guys? No, no. Look, we've got five no, minutes. No, no. Press the button. Uh, guys, so, uh, uh, it's nothing to do with the bedside table. <laughs> nothing to do with the bedside. Oh, so you've done this, <laughs> please. But oh, well, oh, 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 yeah, hello. We, we need the word, but that's what we. Oh, fuck! That's what we're looking for on this. Yeah. So I think the words in this in the handycam, and that's going to show if we can somehow get the handycam onto there. No signal. What's missing? All right. Can you give us? Should we, should we get a hint? Yeah, just think? the vaguest of hints, Pete. You can interact. You've interacted with stuff in this room already. This that that little space you're in right now. What? You've already interacted with stuff in this space. That I need. Real. I'm just saying that you have. Oh, what else? Maybe we you go pull down the key further. out of it. Can you, go, can you go down further and just see what happens at the very? Nah, just that's it. That's the very bottom. Yep. Okay. Uh, can you clip it and then can you cut it with the clippers? Oh, can I cut it with the clippers? No, no, we okay. just view the clippers. Uh, you can what else do you Hammer. have? <coughs> Camera, Driver. The screwdriver. Cameron's not doing anything. It's getting pretty full. Can you put the handy cam on it and then it like shows you? Can you put the handy cam on the thing? Uh, eyebrows are going. Oh. Eyebrows are firing. Oh, I gotta bring it up. Okay, I gotta bring it up. Firing, Mel firing House eyebrows. There we go. <laughs> Shit. That's all <laughs> hot pants and eyebrows go. there. Put it on. There we go. Oh, oh, Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. This is assuming that you know that this is an underwater capable camera. That's right. right. True. Be, that is I not my first thing. Will! There we go. Get out of here. We're doing it. This isn't so bad. Yeah. 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 Multi fish. Put the camera on the hook. <laughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so that they look like numbers Speech that we need to numbers. finish. Yep. I'm gonna close that toilet lid. Yeah, do it. Could be stinky. Look at all this now. junk. Fanning machine. Acrylic sheet. Yes, that's part of the number. <laughs> that was blue, which you would think would go there. Got, does it, it go did. You, oh. No, you just took another one. I took it off. No, Shit! It's, it's like an overlay. Check, check your items. It's an overlay that goes over the full number. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can change. Change the number. Yeah. Hands of escapist edge. I wouldn't drink that. Uh, more acrylic Ooh. sheets. Okay, okay. So we just need to find what the. No that gives us a safe number. Yeah. Mark five. Mark five yeah. is important. Mark five is important. You can make mark five. <clears throat> MK5. You couldn't make M with that. No, could you, but could you make the number that M would be on on a keypad? I think that's a bit obtuse. My sense is that wouldn't be it. I think Ralph is <laughs> correct. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Couch buddies but over hey, there. But hey, <clears throat> puzzle games with that's that. what it gives Throwing us. Okay, cool. out there and seeing what sticks. So that's you the know? number. Let's take the acrylic sheets and see which numbers we can make. Because we can only put one acrylic that's sheet so per thing. That's so true. So then... We can switch. We can switch around. It's the next real fucking genius. That's right. Let's go. Won't, won't I've already done this. I'm not having it. I obviously haven't. Uh, I can pin something. Okay. That made a number. Mm, yeah, it is. One. And then yeah, and then I can make a zero. zero and then this could be, then this could a, be a three or a five. Five, five on zero. Let's go. All right. Oh, the controls are so annoying. Are they? They're actually, they're actually great. It's that computer is... Is toggling back to PC, which oh. is why we can see PC hints over there. Do you have like a, a something pressing on the keyboards? I don't think so. I think okay. it might. I might just unplug the yeah. keyboard and mouse and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. It was happening before. When uh, was so what did that do? That opened that. What did it do? What did it's it do? Either, the handle is missing. So uh. I'm missing a handle here. It's not the handle from the safe by any chance. That, <laughs> Shit, that <laughs> looks fun. That was Pete. No, that's fine. <laughs> uh, um, Mark five. We need a handle. Stick. Is it in the toilet? In the toilet. Damn it. It should be like a. Uh, it should always be something in the toilet. I it agree. Always be something behind. Every the video, exactly, it's the same concept, really. Exactly. Water-based environments. Mm. Don't disappoint me when I go into them. Uh, I don't want to be wasted. Effort. Yeah, it's so weird. Oh, he totally fucking does because of that game that he was playing. 
Last week, remember? God, he's such a prick. That is nothing. Um, Water cooler, is there anything? The buckets? Oh, yeah, there. Buckets. What's on that shelf? Anything yeah, on that yeah, shelf? Yeah, yeah. I can't. Oh, okay, there's that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's the hole. That's why. Uh, okay, so we're missing a handle. handle. There's nothing. Oh, can we use like one of our items? Can we, use, like, we can't use like a hammer or something is as a handle. Is there something in that box back there? Was there a box on the shelf that I missed? Let me check in the box and then I'll and then I'll check hand hammers. No, it's the right. Hang on. That no no. I've got screwdriver, hammer, clippers. So we need a handle. Or missing, which would be in that. So what are we missing about how to open? So how, well, you press Five. a button. And then, okay, you press, you, the, press you... the buttons and then you spin it. So what, what's that? Uh, is that... We looked in the toilet. There was nothing in the toilet. Oh, there's another, to oh, oh, another there's another toilet. Oh, there's another toilet. Oh, my shit. God. <clears throat> Here we go. K5. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. It's missing. It's one of these things where it's process of uh, deduction. Okay, right. right. Yeah, okay. Got it. Okay, so... Um, circle, square, something, square, circle. Square, something, square, circle, circle. Oh, God. We're not looking at anything. This Thank God we don't need tabs open puzzle. on this. Yeah, he's running some weird shit. Hey, um, just open up a uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Let's see if we can just, 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 just uh, fuck around in that for a little bit. Okay, so <laughs> fuck around uh, in that. Go. Wait, do we have that thing? Can you bring it up? It's got to be... Apparently I can the pin next... it. Yep. Okay. There we oh, go. Oh, that's great. There we go. The next, so it's got to be... The next one is circle, circle, square, star, Oh, yeah. The square. circles are ascending in like yep. a line. They all do. It's like Connect Four. Yeah. But circle, like circle, <laughs> square, star, square. I believe the last one is square. Circle, circle, circle square... square. Star square. square. There he is. Nice. Oh, there's the handle. Three minutes to go. Got it. Okay, now that doesn't help. Oh, uh, now what did that? That just turned off that. something. What else had power? So, oh, hey. wait. Another number. Slow. Slow. Well, I was. I would never have got that. I reckon I could have looked at that for the remaining three minutes <laughs> and not got that. <laughs> Other power is that okay? <clears throat> so that. Why does it? Okay, all right. We turn it on to get the clue, and yeah. then we turn it off again. Glow in the dark paint. Oh. Oh. Nice. Up we go. I think this is the last. Uh, keep it together, Jeb. Keep it together. Keep it together, keep it Jeb. <clears throat> uh, we got water pressure valves. That's fine. We got water pressure, water wetness, <laughs> water depth, yep, water weight, water what temperature. We got a series of pipes. You got to grab shit on that table. Yep, nice. And yep, nice. Have I grabbed everything. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> uh, okay, we go. Oh, and what's that? That's water. Quantity. What's that panel next to it? Can you Pack do the panel? Oh, it's an anagram. It's an anagram? No. Uh, what's the, what's, it, what's the thing called when it... Is it anagram? Screwdriver. Yeah. Screwdriver. The over-under. We got a bet. Screwdriver in that. <clears throat> I can okay, so I can plug things in there. What, 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 can you plug anything that we have? Oh, fuck. I forgot I actually picked things up. Yeah, like yep. those uh, monitors. There was like a panel or something. Or... Yep. Um, strange, strange device. device. Let's try it. one as good as the other. Nope. Nope. Okay. Can you take that one out and put it? P. Nope. There's a dice. Nope. No P. <laughs> no P. <laughs> okay, so no. P well, no. <clears throat> so uh, you you understand the mechanic. You need to crack the the puzzle. Yeah. Okay. No so. No P. <clears throat> No. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yeah. So there's got to be something to decode that. Yeah, one. there definitely has to be. And it won't oh, what's in here? Pee. Hang on, something is in here. Can you... Oh, crap. Take those out of the yeah. other ones and then... <laughs> no pee. <laughs> pee, no. No pee. <coughs> uh... Yep. 
you're banging your head against the same wall here. Yeah, this is going to do the same thing. Yep, 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 yep. 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 Uh, and it's on the wall. Oh, yeah, because they've all, they've all fucking got them. They've all got them. They've all got them. <sighs> so... Check your inventory. You don't have the thing yet. Okay, maybe you didn't pick up everything from the desk. Maybe it's... Uh, no, you got it from there. It's not in there. Okay. Uh, nope. Got everything. Nope. Yep. Uh, look around. What's on that wall there? What's that yep. number? Look there down, down, down. Pick up. Back, back, back. To your right. No, to oh, your right, to your right. Gonna drown. On that, no, no, to your left. There we no, go. Faith. Got it. Cypher. Mm. Okay, so hang on. Let me pin this. Ooh. Okay. No P. No P. No P. A, a B. C. You still got four e? and a half minutes. Yeah. A, B, C. Wait, which way does that. What? Oh, okay, I see. I see what's going on. Interchangeable. Yeah. Interchangeable. Yeah. So, do we need to turn each one of these off? Well, well we only need water depth. You need to, you need to decode. Yeah, that's... Yeah. What are the things Oh, the this fucking say? thing. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I was, <laughs> looking, I was looking at them and I was like... Sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the that. one. Okay. H is U. A is N. Q is D. Under? Yeah. Uh, is E. Yep. 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 N is R. So under C is Not P. P. E is R. Under pressure. I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then pressing down on me, pressing down and on where's you. Where's the water pressure? Where's water pressure on the dials? It's under pressure, right? So water that's... quality. Is there water pressure anywhere? Oh, so do we put under no, do go look on the... pressure? That's what we do. We put the under thing on pressure, which is that one. Holy Ooh, shit! shit. That is oh, proper rain. Run. God. Yeah, water pressure, and then so under, the under pressure, and there. then put one yep. in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that gives us the first part of the door code. You are okay, and then the next cipher, right? The next, and then the next, next one wall. is here. Items pin. So O V. Oh, over. Yeah. So then J is W E. So you got two and a half. High weight under weight. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Overweight. Uh, purity weight was over here. I think. Temp. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the drag. The drag. Yo. You are. So your. Y O U R. Is that the door code? It was U R over here, was it? It was U R. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Give that a shot. Uh, is this gonna work? Do I have power? Yep. Y O U. You're underwater. Yes! Yeah, let's go. <laughs> so Amazing. this is the final stage, right? Yep. Two minutes. Oh, shit. Nah, it gives okay. you five minutes every time you jump up, yeah. Puzzles. Okay, so that's uh, just the map. Okay, we've got power going around the place. That Oh, this is like turn the things to oh, uh, these yeah. link up power. So that would link up power to that thing. Let me just... Another one to your right. P-I-P-R-E? Pipe? Uh, there's another one to my right, did you say? What's the goal here? Is there another cage? There's another cage. Okay, cool. <coughs> Fragile. Huh? Hammer. Nice. Huh? <laughs> uh, okay, so then if that is the map, what's the orientation for one, that? What's the middle three, part? Two, the four, cage the cage, probably, yeah. So, one... Okay, so something's in the corner somewhere. <clears throat> we gotta find, we'll go to that map again. Just pin that map. So if that was one, is it though? Why? How do we know that? What's because the it's in the corner. That thing's in the cor in the corner so square. Like, that like a, a an interactable. Uh, does that make sense? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> we, I think we need if it's the point of reference for. Oh, these. Oh, the light up squares. The squares lit up. We want those four squares lit up. Does that work? But what the fuck is three? Yeah, but that's three what I'm saying. Three would be like, like there.
yeah, so... Uh, the, these are divided into oh, four see. squares okay. as well. All the triangle yep. things. Then which is which? This step is correct. Yeah, the triangle things in the corner. Okay, you can see the triangle things there. Yes. Oh, right, okay. So Some of the four sense. panels. Oh, that's right. So that one there is panel one, for example. Yeah, right, yep. okay. And I need to get power to that, which would be that. There we go. So then it's... And we're looking at the letter there is M. So the first letter is M. Cool. Oh, and you knew that, yep, yep I see, yep. and you so knew now, that was panel one. And then one. that panel there is four. That's four. Uh, and the power for that is that to there. Through, Jesus. Oh, man. Through here. Wait, does that just link up? There's only there's only one source of power. Oh, there's only space, one source of power. So okay, yeah. You just yeah. need to keep yeah, sure. it okay, just manipulating yeah. it from where it already is. You've already got it too. Yep, 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 sure. Um, so here brings that. We don't care about that one. No, but you care can. about this. Yep. That's kept that lit. That now goes up there, comes around here, down here. We'll go to the left, oh. go to the left, go to the left. That's one there. So that's E. So that's four, which means it's D. So first letter M, fourth letter D. M. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. One. Sorry, sorry. And yeah, actually, MD. that one there is uh, that's that, so that's three, and that that letter is N. So the third letter is so it's M something N D. Is that right? Bend. Yeah. So use the and uh, Ralph's doing this. He's using yeah, the, the thing there, the wedge. So, yep. To denote and where four, on so that something D is the yep. four set of four is, yep. and then it's denoting the letter within that set of four. Yeah. Okay. So he's got M space N D. Yep. So then that we just need to get power to that one there. So uh, which to the one? right, to the right, to that one that's unpowered, oh, yeah, right there, 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 It's gotta be mend, right? There we go. There's no other and word. And F and mind? two, it's mind. Mind. <laughs> oh, man. No, 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 no. Fuck you, logic puzzles. No, no, no. Uh, that is one of my favorite... Totally fair. That is one of my favorite things about Engli of English, where you go, like, the word is stopping a word, and it's just, like, a sound, and then you're like, what the fuck well, is mint? You, you broke a four-letter word into four sounds, mm. and you correctly said all those sounds. Mm. Uh, oh, that is a low moment. Right? <laughs> the message. Message. I wasn't paying attention. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! What? We know the the last word. Oh, you, uh, your your underwater mind. <laughs> Close. Well, lose. Don't lose your mind. It was don't the first one? I actually can't remember. Chat's been tracing it. Have they? Chat. What do you got? We can rely Fear on will chat. slow your mind. Fear will slow your mind. Okay. Chat for the win. Chat new. Chat. chat. Yeah, somebody said that God. super early on, and I was uh, like, that's pretty uh, cool. Yeah, so you, <laughs> you hit, the, hit, the loop, hit the loop one. Oh, uh, okay. one. And then yeah. hit next oh, one, so you got right. the word. Yeah. 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 So you could you would have remembered yes, had when you it started through. to do this. Yeah. Yeah. We did it! Feet! Oh fuck, I went past it! I went past it again! Your feet. <laughs> that's that's mind, not mend. <laughs> it's weird because it, it, because I thought it was mend, I was like, it's like a verb. So I was like, mend isn't a word. <laughs> you, <did it. laughs> you can't mend something. You can't mend it. <laughs> you did it. There you go. That was cool. Yeah. I like that. This is yeah. just my level of difficulty for something like this yeah where i feel like yes. i'm not going so to true. you know how like i mean i love the witness but you know how like puzzle games where you, the witness sometimes you just like <clears throat> what the fuck am i looking at <laughs> like yeah, this feels yeah. like yep. uh, you stumped me for two minutes but you didn't stump me for 30 minutes Correct. and that's kind of what i'm looking for <laughs> yeah i totally agree you got an a got an a I'm 23 a minutes i'm a puzzle hero love it I'm, nice well how many puzzles are there in this game does anyone know uh I, how many rooms i think there are 10 okay. maybe plus one is like a i think it se establishes that there are 10 and then there's like a, a secret room that's attached to like the story stuff um but yeah they're all distinctly different and the puzzles are well associated with the scene that you're in the scenario that you're in so and there is dlc where you can date all of the escape rooms <laughs> hopefully <laughs> they hopefully, definitely yeah. should be nintendo yeah. are working on that yep <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. uh that brings us to the end of the show thank you so much uh, everyone for watching uh, i do want to thank as well of course the mods who help keep everyone civil and obedient uh they truly are 
the cops of the chat. <laughs> and I'm sure they'll love being referred to as that. Gat, Syntax Error, Kit Carnage, Liz Dahlia, Sith Cat, Phoenix Alliance, Disturb 778, Jex, Caboose, and What the Shark. Thank you so much for your continued support. Uh, and of course, a big support to everyone who uh, supports the show on Patreon as well. All of you are special precious flowers without whom none of this would be possible but some of you bloom brighter and more beautiful than the others <laughs> wow. and that's because you just give us more money every month and i'm sorry i just had to say it that's just what happens that's why you get your name read out on this as well uh we did not prepare ralph for this big wilds yeah. we oh, go around yeah. the oh, shit <laughs> we go around the room and then you just have to say something nice about that person okay yeah you can uh, make up a creative anecdote based on their name or you can just say something completely unrelated Absolutely. you can insult them if you want uh let's start it off with a nice throw to uh, did you write the thing for Oranishi? I wrote a thing for Wolsey. Get it ready. Uh, I'm going to start us off. Peter. Yes. These are the patrons. Special thank you to all our patrons. Oh, God damn, I forgot part. that there was that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, of course, Oranishi being number one first man on the moon and first man to have his name read out tonight. Good on it. Uh, Mason, not Nathan. Um, if I had an ingrown toenail, I would call you first. <laughs> Slow plonk. Um, never plonk. Never plonks fast. Um, always slow, slow. Uh, and tender and sweet. But sometimes fast because sometimes that's called for. Uh, Akarash is a little drunk bee, and <laughs> I think that that bee butt uh, would not be balanced on the the crook of the legs. <laughs> that bee. I'm, what I'm saying is the balance of that bee is it's not. It's off. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's way off. The it's the shit drawing. That's yeah, why yeah, you yeah. can't leave home without it. Sort of dies. That's right. Uh, Nicrotex, uh, Mr. Nicrotex, according to the uh, board. So you better listen up, students. Be quiet. Nicrotex is talking. Uh, Nicrotex, um, that. Hat, re wait, boxy. <laughs> that hat really hides your bald spot. It's you can't see it at all. It looks great. It's true. Thank you. Um, the coastal city. Yeah. Um, uh, can't wait for your upcoming stream. Um, this Saturday. Maybe. Twenty fifth. Uh, it is confirmed. Yeah. Well, he put it out on Twitter. Is that <gasps> Saturday? Twitter? Maybe it's the twenty no, third. This Saturday. Twenty third. Yep. yep. Looking forward to it. I'm sure you'll be wonderful. Um, because you're a cutie. Yep. Uh, I want to say thank you to Vega Bus. My God, my God, uh, that you should not be driving a bus while wielding a lightsaber. That's a massive <laughs> occupational health and safety issue. There's a lightsaber there. I see. It is out the window though, so that's fine. Uh, a Timothy, uh, the hands of power. Uh, we've always assumed that there were uh, those hands were building worlds, but they're actually stink lines because A Timothy hasn't washed hands in a very long time. He's bubble. juiced into the metaverse. Stank hands. That's why he's, he's, he's in a suit, actually, because his NFT investments have paid off big. <laughs> so he's living the dream, man. Nice. Stank hands nice. and nice. NFTs. That's right. And um, it's Jep. Uh, you are living the furry dream. Uh, you've gone the full, <laughs> made the full transition and uh, you're a pioneer and people will always remember you. That's what I know about Jep. <laughs> I'm evil spy boy. Um, uh, it was the most beautiful picture um, of space until the Dolly. The latest. latest. Yeah, not the Dolly. James Webb, no. James Webb Telegraph. Oh, yeah. James Webb. Dolly is the thing that makes the AI. AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, it could be that as well. I'm going to put that into Dolly and see what comes up. That could be cool. And uh, does, we are robots. Speaking of robots, does everyone oh. remember Dolly the sheep? Remember Dolly the sheep, the clone? That was a clone. Oh, yeah. yeah. What the hell yeah. happened there? Yeah, yeah. Of course. You want to talk? I'll tell you what. If you like Dollar Sheep, watch Resident Evil, the Netflix series. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dream PC. If you like PCs, dream bigger and go to Dream PC to get yourself your next PC because it'll be a good one. Or get a space station. And get yourself a space station. That's right. Um, toxic Org. You. Um, toxic Org. Yeah, you, you got it. You, you had one. There were no cameras on us. <laughs> we always called him Toxic Org. Always oh. Toxic Org. <laughs> I was like... It was like actually not how you say it. Toxic Org, you're just missing the Y. That's it. <laughs> there was a little pause and all three of us went, oh. <gasps> <laughs> he is a genius. How did he say it right? What the fuck? <laughs> Somebody said <Somebody's> date. <laughs> uh, Reese Wild, uh, are you doing a flip on that boat? Because wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> is. Very, very, I'm so sorry about your weak little lung. I hope it gets better on your birthday. <laughs> nice. 
week. Dump days. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying enjoying the shower of uh, trash. Uh, I think it looks like Fruit Loops that's falling, and I used to enjoy a Fruit Loop myself. Hell so yeah. enjoy, enjoy. And my mum would let me eat them. Yeah. Uh, Loki cats, you are going <laughs> to jail. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy this moment of freedom while you can, because it's going to be short lived. I'll do middle C and you can finish with Wolsey. Sure. Middle C uh, is drinking uh, what looks to be some sort of carbonated beverage, but she's not supposed to, and she's been caught, and that's why she's looking back, going, "Oh no, oh, this no. is." How you, yeah, sorry. maybe it's a bubble tea, and she's got a uh, uh, what are they call tapioca pearl caught oh, in a yeah. nostril, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. or in a tiny week long. I can't breathe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 tiny week long. Okay, so I. I Holy was, fucking shit! I was sad. I was. You sad. gotta say it quickly. I was sad. That I don't Wolsey. want pretext. Go, go fast. The Wolsey never gets a thing because you always just make the Gorbachev joke. It's a great joke. What's the joke? joke? I want to hear it. I love Gorbachev jokes. Yep. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this Wolsey. <laughs> <laughs> good joke. It's a good joke. So I wrote this for Wolsey. I was drunk and a lot of these are jokes related to last episode that I forgot. Okay. Steph, you got to go faster. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Wolsey. All hail to our patron, dear sweet Wolsey, captain of the guard, keeper of the key. Unlock, <laughs> unlock our hearts, open our minds, break down Fuck our walls, no. and soon you shall find we'll build a new wall. <laughs> a wall made of friends, yet not flesh and bone, but an ankle finger that ascends. Ascends the leg, the leg of our dreams, which means what it says and says what it means. Think this doesn't make sense? Like <laughs> <laughs> like Zeno Blade vagueness. Just look to the wall and find something that rhymes with vagueness. Say Wolsey deserves. <laughs> 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 it's, it's the Odyssey over here. <laughs> He Wolsey deserves more than Gorbachev's crew. Well, that may be so, so, but sorry, I'm afraid I don't want to. Wow, well done. Wow. I remember you writing that on the post show, and you're right, we were both. Fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> and we were talking about that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Which is why fucking Xenoblade <laughs> is in your okay. That makes a lot of sense. We were playing, we were playing um, a game and then it was like, oh, oh, we were playing Fall Guys. And then I like lost first round, but you were like, all the Pocketeers are still playing, so you have to control the camera. And I You're said, like, I don't, don't want to. And just handed it off. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, so thank you very much to all the Top Stitch, uh, top stitch patrons. If you want to become a patron of our wonderful show, head to Back Pocket. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Back Pocket. If you want links to everything else we do, head to Patreon. No, fuck, I fucked it up. Head to backpocket.gg. Head to patreon.com forward slash backpocket to join the Patreon. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you want to promote, Ralph? Uh, nothing. I'm just Come hanging on. out. I'm just doing my normal thing with you fine people. All I'm right, good. good. Thank you. I just love, I love being here. We Thank love you. having you here. Thank you so much. I'm genuinely like so thrilled that you came along. Been wanting to have you on the show for ages. And I'm very yeah, glad. I hope we so. can do it again. I'll be very bummed if we don't. It we look. We, we just need to get rid of girls again. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's just. And don't I feel pressure to invite us all onto your other podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't feel pressure. Let, no, no, don't no, 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 feel pressure. Stop, stop, stop. Don't feel pressure. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> it's getting weird now, Ralph. It's getting weird. It's getting weird now. Come on, four of us. Come on. Um, uh, one tiny bob. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you guys will have to do these ones. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, you want to stick around for the post show? Absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. Awesome. You want to stick around for the post show as well if you have post show access. If you don't, head to patreon.com forward slash backpocket. Until then, we're going to back it out. See you later.